Yo, everybody. I like to come in hot with these. Can everyone hear me? Boop, boop, boop. Hello. Uh, Justin was already commenting on Nick's shirt. I'm sorry. I'm just looking like sharp, but uh, if it doesn't say restoration on it, then it doesn't really count, does it? I had, to, I had to take a break because I wear my pink dinosaur t pie shirt so much. Every time I like want to be at like a gaming thing, the people say like, dude, do you have another shirt? And I'm like, yeah, but this is my like, I'm at a game night shirt. You made me feel weird about it. I'm like, I like wearing pink. What do you want? Thank you for saying I look fly, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Um, we have some new folks. We got double grums up in here. We got slippers up in here. We got the bird man up in here. We got unicorn shampoo, Nick. Nick's right over there. And Justin, Nick is in... The appropriate attire. Okay. I do believe we saw Berkey up in here too. Berkey, how Berkey the heck too. are you? How is uh, the Great North treating you? How is everyone? I worry about all of you that live up there all the time. Yeah. It's just because it, it's chilly today. It's really cold today here. It's not warm. So I'm like, well, if it's cold, to, if we're cold, then y'all are cold, man. Y'all are freezing. Yeah. Just saying. Wunderbar. He's happy. Wunderbar. Berkey's in his element. He's just like, this is the best, best thing yeah, ever he's doing. Hello from Brazil. What a do from Brazil? <laughs> Brazil. Ah. Only six feet piles of snow. Berkey, your life is crazy. I just don't But here's know. the thing. You know what? You know all that time indoors during the winter makes you? It makes you design a great game table. That's true. You have time on your hands. You got time to think, man. You have time, time to think. Game Dumpers LLC. Upgrade your game experience. Upgrade your game experience. You're going to see us unbox and play whatever the heck is in this. Where's What's in this, man? I'm so curious. It's like, it's like, it's purposefully creepy looking. Like it's a padded box, so we care about the insides, but then it's also like wrapped up in just nefarious looking brown paper. Indeed. I that assume there's some nice. kind of ransom note in here that we should have opened a week ago. Probably. Whoever they're holding is long dead. <laughs> it's long dead. Um, and so we're going to be yes. unboxing this thing and uh, learning it and playing it and then talking about it all while we are here talking to you, Bing Bong. Indeed. So we're going to be figuring this out. This is good. So this is, uh, let's just go ahead and, unless Justin was lying, this is not Project Blue, because that's already happening. Yeah. I believe, or almost certainly. This is, this is, from what we understand, something that Restoration Games is considering bringing back. Like yes. They want to... That's they, from what I can tell. So we're gauging interest here. So we're going to all talk about it and see what we think of the game and, and stuff. Indeed. So we're going to we're gonna unbox it. We already got one down vote. Rough. Rough. Been here for so not very long. I can't help the way my face looks. <laughs> they probably downvoted before you even heard me sing or talk or whatever. Have any opinions. Hero it's quest. It's messed up, man. It's messed up. Um. Yeah, Mikey. Should we go down cam for it? Probably. I just want to see, is this, I don't know if this is important. This cam, I'm this carefully, cam. this is a letter. What? I think it's a customs letter. It's a customs yeah. document. Commercial invoices. This came from uh, the UK, I believe. The UK? Anybody got UK in the house? UK, I'll be with her. Is it some sort of financial panther? Yes. Probably. Uh, so anyway. Oh, Chris the Paisano! Chris the Paisans! The Paisans, man. Um, and uh, we get to see the Paisans in a bit. Yeah, for, just soon. Incognito, you, UK here. UK up in here. So you probably know what this is because I assume y'all know whose mail is what. So. Fair. Yeah. Um, it's a very small country. Yeah, man. It's tripped me out like how quickly Dice Tower is less than two weeks away. We're uh, to name drop. We were hanging out with Tom we were. Vassal a just a few minutes, minutes ago. ago. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a week. I was just like, what? Oh, you're yeah, like, you're right. That's right. That's crazy. So anyway, yeah. this is cool. I'm holding this angle. starts to become see through. Whoa, that's crazy looking. I know, right? Um, the gate is straight from England. So, yeah, should we just unbox Let's this? Let's do it, Mikey. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. We I got have it. no idea what the flip is in here, but it's padded. Uh, Jason Kelly, you know I'm looking professional, baby. Um, come on. Come on. We did it for a sketch we were shooting for uh, Board Game Breakfast, and then just kept it. Yeah. What the hell? Some of the dinosaurs. More dinosaurs, man. I said hi, everyone. My first time catching a live stream from hey. England, currently 2 a.m. Monique, that is awesome. I'm glad you're here. I mean, it's Friday, so hopefully that makes it a little bit. Welcome better. to the Buzzmark Live. It's Thanks very disappointing, I promise you. Um, it's going to be worth it. Okay, so this is the uh, Lost Valley Dinosaurs. Whoa. Whoa. What the heck? 
Waddington's. A thrilling game of adventure in a frightening prehistoric world. What's up? What's up, Barbie and Hippo? Yo! Okay. Oh, look, it's all 3D, Mikey. We got another 3D volcano. Mm. Mm. Well, how's the volcano feel about that? We got dinosaurs. There's a 3D dinosaur. It says, dinosaur attack. Run for your life. Volcano erupts, and they have these lava tokens that creep closer and closer. What? And then the pterodon... Pterodon. The pterodon <laughs> swoops. Will you be saved? So there's a there's a there's a bird, and there's this guy with a gun. Rick. Is this Eno Tool artwork? Looks like Eno Tool. It's gonna be Eno Tool for sure, for sure. So we it's got a back end. It does not have a back. Uh, they should bring back uh, Land of the Lost, the board game today, Phil. Ooh. Yeah, I, this might be I like that. Someone's asking, if "This is us," because this looks familiar. This is awesome. Already sold. Take my money, Restoration Games. Yeah, it's fair. Boom. Is that yes. Nick on the cover? I know, right? Look, see? I don't know, yeah. We got right here. The only game of frightening prehistoric world. This is awesome. Looking. I'd like a Poterodon. Yeah, is that wrong with Poterodon? Um, Oh, snap. Whoa. So we got our Pterodon here. <gasps> does, does his mouth open? Uh, it, it He's must. like, yes! Looks like a little clipper thing. This is a this very is... large box, okay. And we're going to probably break it before we... This from 1985, okay. <laughs> Yep, yep, you're right. Copyright 1985 by Waddington Games. Waddingtons. Made and printed in Graz, Britain. Waddington, Britain's number one in games. Is that still true? 243 inspected in this. Incognito, is that still true? Because that Waddingtons is still number one in games. Yeah, if you can confirm or deny, we're going to try it. Okay, we're going to start actually this reading this. This does look very well it. maintained, as Tim just said. I know. Look at these little, little dinos, little hey, dinos. I'm so worried about breaking it. He like, I was five in 1985. Okay, so didn't answer my So question, you were so. the core audience. Like, no, this is eight above, Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you had a couple okay, years so away. Is this? Okay, so it looks like this is the game board. Ooh, that's pretty. I kind of dig it. There's like a little Nessie head. If you do, do just redo what. this game board. This game board is beautiful. And on the back side, there's like a whole map with like... You know what I love is the smell of 1985 dice. Smell those dice. Oh, Ooh, yeah, man. It smells like as asbestos. It smells like hairspray and cocaine. <laughs> it smells <Great>. like straight cocaine. <laughs> so we got Last Valley of the Dinosaurs, Dinosaurs Lair, mm -hmm. Volcano, give, Hidden Cave. And then the we flavor. have some flavor down here. Okay. What's the flavor? You have discovered an ancient chart to a lost valley. It shows that once the valley was occupied by a fierce tribe of natives who had collected a vast wealth of treasure and then used vicious dinosaurs to help protect it. Cool. Cool. Rip. No humans inhabit the valley now, and the chart shows that the treasure is still hidden in a temple at the top of the valley, but the dinosaurs are still there. Ooh. Because they stopped being like lackeys for this tribe. They're like, uh, we're going to all of you. Anymore. Yeah. The Sheesh. secrets of the valley and its treasure have been stolen, and you know that other expeditions are currently journeying to discover the lost secret of the valley. As your party enters the valley, a volcano which has been dormant for centuries, Volcar, yeah, call it, rumbles and threatens <laughs> to engulf the valley in lava, clearly Volcar. The race is on. Who will win the fabulous riches of the temple, and who may die? Ooh. Indeed. All right, so we got some more 3D wow. bills and what stuff. What is with y'all in some 3D games? This board is really nice. I really like this board a lot. I think Restoration Games is uh, is about table presence, man. <laughs> I don't know where these, what these, it must go like to the edges so and things. Let's we'll take a look out. at the rules and stuff. Indeed. So we're going to play this, too. We're going to give we're it a, give a, a shoddy so, poo. So question to the chat for folks. Uh, out, has anyone heard of this game? Is yeah, this that's a, a very good question. Because if I'm not mistaken, uh, Justin, whoever's out there, this is on the list of games that people can kind of vote on to be brought back. Um, and so, like, is this something that people were into back in the day? I mean, is this was this a UK-based game like was this their fireball island or, or what because i'm just like man i don't I, I i've got no memory of this but this is awesome good night you need monique um monique, thank, thank you for staying up in. to the beginning Seriously. watch this tomorrow Ooh, and then give your guys. thoughts on yeah. stuff i love it it's like yeah so this one's like all right it's like, oh, uh, i'm gonna check on the thing real quick um yeah i'm very excited so we'll make a make a mountain rock bar the Paisans has never heard of it, but it looks cool. I agree. Uh, Crystal, that's super cool. You're going to a show tonight. I haven't. don't think I've heard of the show that you're seeing. What's it about, generally, before you go and see that show? Um, 
Christian Gilbert's seen a lot of Waddington games in Canada as well, so I guess maybe they're they're um, yeah more known around them damn parts. So it looks like we come in maybe over here and work our way around, but yeah, I just dig the look of the board and stuff. I definitely am into that. Um, yeah, and I agree. Tim to uh, Hodling was saying that these are like pretty well made and stuff for a game from the '80s. I don't know if like these are the original game pieces. They're kind of like squishy little, you know, toy dinosaurs. This looks like um, kind of from the cover and stuff. But like either way, like it's well maintained and like yeah, you can like David Phillips bought it. You know, kind of put this together and. Back in the day. Get your thing, yeah. So, like, what's what, what are we getting into here, man? Give us a little print preview. So, were those metal coins? Are they, are they plastic? No, they're plastic, but they're pretty cool looking. They're oh, plastic. Yeah. You could easily upgrade, make these some metal -y coins. So, this got a lot of votes, as many as uh, Star Wars Queen's Gambit, Mall Madness, and more, but it never came out in the U.S. Cool. Interesting. Okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, maybe you can be the first... Okay, so this goes here. Oh, I, think so. I think so. I'm gonna like actually like look it at looks this. Looks like set. that. Uh, we'll have to bring the camera out. This one is a big game. It's a big one. I think we can zoom out a hair. Oh, you know, I think this is where the volcano goes. That looks volcano. That looks that looks, volcano. That that looks, looks magma volcano. like. Ah! Okay, well then let's see here. Those are all the original pieces. You think you're just missing one pawn? Okay, cool. So these dinos and stuff all came with the game. Cool. This would be really fun to bring back and have like just really cool like. You know, especially with like technology, you get some like ripping ass minis, just super oh, yeah. sweet looking. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So okay. four green, four brown, four yellow, and four cream. I think. Not gonna uh, lie, I'm about here. I'm oh, about these here. dudes. I'm about here. Yeah, man. Well, how fun! Oh yeah, I think we're missing maybe one of these guys. But like we're just playing a two player game right now, so it'll be okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pump up the camera just a little bit. Looks like we're, we're missing a. I don't know. Actually, no. No, we'll we'll see. see. Four of each of those. Let me check and see if we're I can zoom out anymore. Yeah, we're good. We'll see what we're missing. We'll find out. Um, that's super cool, man. This was like, it just would have been super fun to like look at as a kid, just like goof around with. Like, this would be like something like we had as kids, like we would just like play with, you know? Like, yeah, not even play like the game. Like, oh, like we definitely did with Mousetrap a lot. We like set it up and just set off the thing and stuff. And like, I was like, at some point, someone asked, think like after you know, we kids are like, oh, how do you play Mousetrap? I was like, I, I don't, I have no idea. Don't know, don't care. Yeah. Never, never got that far. Just be a little earthquake, people. It's, it's the rumblings of the island. Huh? Does that look good? No, it looks here. You're like, beep, go. No, height wise. <laughs> yeah, height wise is good. Cool. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, I, oh, I, gotcha. I can adjust the rest. I just. It's all like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, but this is a bigger board than we were expecting. I mean, it's a large game. It's a large game. It's a large box, I guess. Look at that game topper, though. Um, did it all the time with Grape Escape, too. Yeah, man, dude, Grape Escape. It's super cool. Yeah, I think there's, like, all sorts of... Cool. Those types of things. Like, there's just kind of fun... What's that, Sprack Now? Sprack Now! Uh, fun, kind of activity-based games and stuff, and they're just, like, cool to like, play with and, like, you know, see what was going on. So you were right, Nick, the Volcano, I think. Yeah, is that okay. the higher? They're both kind of, like, volcanic... Yeah, but this one looks very magma. -y, yeah, you know, yeah. it looks very magma. Oh, because this is this becomes like the nest magma. of the pterodon, magma. dude. Oh, I was wondering what that was. Rip, pterodon. Pterodon, hit that p hard. So, folks, if you're in here and haven't yet, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up on this video. Dude, you got two thumbs down now. We're Great. fourteen to two, and I'm like, afraid not. Afraid not. Afraid not, fam. Afraid not. All right. You know? Um, ooh. Hasbro bought Gary Owen voice everything. I bet. I bet. Have we played Coinbra? We have not played Coinbra. Everything. That's how that reading is. Because it's Gary Owen from, what is that from? Uh, the Professional? Chocolat. From Chocolat? Where he's all crazy. And this is everyone or something. Um, okay, so do this. Gonna try not to break something from the eighties. I think it goes like that. Okay. What is that? This is so many things. I I don't even know. Um hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? What? Yeah. Just say, uh say if I had if I had this game as a kid, I would have lost my mind. It looks so cool. Yeah, nobody actually ever played Mousetrap. It was just a twenty minute toy. <laughs> I was like, Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. And I'm like, I'm I can live with that. 
I'm, I'm okay with that. So we should try Coinberry. Think you'd like it? I think we'd like it too. Yeah, Cause... it's on my list of things like I really want to try. Our buddy uh, Steve is in here, I believe, has He's it. Right there. And um, yeah, I said it hurt. He said it hurt his brain. So I've, I've been a little not apprehensive. I'm just like, okay, I, I just got to know that like we're gonna we're heavy gamers now. Gotta, we're, we're heavy, heavy gamers. gamers now. We're heavy gamers. <laughs> we're super heavy. I played T O T O T O T and said, "Give me more." Give me more of that sweet, Give me sweet of that. nectar. nectar Does this go in the corner? I think I it's no going in the corner. Looks like oh, it goes it right here. It oh, it in does. In between the two. Love Nick it. has noticed that there's some landscaping that continues on here. Indeed. So, so far, I mean, I'm thinking this looks pretty radical, man. This like, looks pretty metal. Not pretty, gonna lie. Yeah. Pretty rad. So, Justin, what do you like about this game? Like, what, what is, what's calling your name, man? I'm gonna start reading this and learning how to play, because like we didn't mean it. We you know we didn't we weren't joking. When we said like we have no idea what. No, what's we we coming. did not know what was in here. This is I'm already super excited about the this. Part of that is we gotta learn how to play. This is awesome. So uh, oh my gosh, real quick, <laughs> it looks like the pterodon grabs the minis by the head. Literally, <laughs> that is awesome. As they should. That is amazing. Um. Yeah, so we're we're pretty pumped about this. This is cool. Um, so I'm curious, like, so so restoration, mm. like, just as, as a curious, because honestly, don't really know either. So like, let's say we're not saying you are, but let's say you decided, like, okay, we're gonna go forward. Like, what's the steps for restoring a game more or less like this? I'm sure with something like Fireball Island, it's different than something other, some other game, but uh. I don't know that. Um, so, like, what's the general order of stuff? You know, like, what's this? Is it me? It's a swamp monster. It's like swimming around the swamp. Swamp! A little Nessie. Uh, mm, what can we do to modernize it? So, Justin's saying it's very, very simple. So, as we, uh, once we get through this and kind of explain the rules and talk, yeah, folks, we want to use this as an opportunity to, like, learn. Like, oh, what do you think could be added? Especially looking at you, Atlas Films, because you're a smart guy. Um, what can be added? What can be changed? What should be, you know, modernized? Because I, I'm going to go ahead and assume this game isn't just like, it's honestly, it's perfect. Print it now, you know? So, yeah. Get your thoughts. But yeah, what's the process like, man? How do you, yeah. if you're like, I want to make that now, what do you do? I don't know. Who do you call? You know? You yeah, I mean, I, I don't even know. But... So, yeah, so that's what we're trying to do. Uh, what's up? Is it Delilah? And, and Anthony, hello, hello. Um, again, so we're trying to find, like, the, the easy on the forced comedy. What? What? Um, Us? Try, trying to find, like, the, the heart of the game, I suppose. I don't know what that's in reference to. I don't know. But cool. So we're the hex groups. We can start implementing the ASL rules in this game. Yeah, start doing, uh, some advanced squad leader. Fair, fair. <laughs> um. Oh, and then, um. Was, uh, so, looks, oh, I see. so I'm going to put T-Rexes in their little layers. Bloop. Yeah, and that's what's cool thing about Bloop. this, as Justin said, like, because it was only in the UK, this uh, would be... Oh, they're going, like, here? That's I'm cool. pretty sure there were no dinosaurs in England. Yeah. Uh, but the this is, this would be completely happen. new to the US. Uh, or, ooh, oh, we got a follower on Twitch. Dang. Thanks for that follow on Twitch. Time. I don't know if I'm sure Jamestown is watching here, but hey, thanks for following Twitch. But that's just so you know, if you follow us on Twitch where we stream most of the time, It'll you'll see right it now. pop up right here. So Indeed. go go us a follow. And on Twitch turn our alerts off. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Alerts are good anytime. Any time of day. Yeah, indeed. Like when I plugged this in earlier, I turned it on and just started doing the subscriber dance. I was like, what? Someone's randomly subscribed to us in the middle of the day. Was, so I don't want you to know you weren't there, but I was drumming. So it's, uh, Dave says, it needs deck building. All games have deck building now. It's a requirement. Fair. That's not a bad idea. I mean, I don't know about anything about you the game. You get, like, cool but... weapons and combos to fight dinosaurs? Indeed. The British dinosaurs had tea party. See, that's Indeed, right. Incognito said that. It's like, we had very proper parliament. dinosaurs. Very a proper. Parliament, and they wore wigs, and they voted on things, and it's great. Um, it seems like a great skeleton that slaps a new muscle on. A couple elements from Survive, Clay, Quest for El Dorado. Again, I'm not sure. Mikey oh. is push your luck and stuff like how much can you run around and like maybe the longer you stay in the more potential ire you draw from the uh 
from the dinos and stuff. Yeah, that could be kind of cool. And Enrico, this is uh, it's called Lost Valley Dinos, Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs. That is the game we are checking out. Dinosaurs, we need that feathers. You're not wrong, technically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what we should do. Just make, make this. Make it very correct. Make it. Yeah. Make like a big, swamp. bold statement. I like the swamp guy. You know, the swamp creature's pretty rad. The swamp creature. Vibes. Lunch is what it do, caribou. What I had it, lunches. Look at that money on that temple. So much money on the temple. Uh, 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 What's the cardboard thing in this corner of the board? Oh, we will find out. This, 700 pounds. This is enough. a temple. Is that, that's where the treasure is, right? Temple where the treasure goes, I believe. That's where the treasure. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. You can take it apart and put it back together. Hey. Just saying. You need Pretty item right. meeple dinos like the tiny epic series. Who doesn't want to snap <laughs> laser cannons on their little dino figure? You're not wrong. Just saying. I just love that they, they, they go into their, like, their, little, their little cubbies. This is choose awesome. your four explorers, could you? And can you choose four for me, please? Yes, indeed. Ooh, Incognito a Mosquito says, should have Jeff Goldblum characters a stretch goal. Yep. That... You could have some fun with fan service stuff uh, for sure. Cool little green dudes. Yep. Rip. Just ha always having the back of a Jeep. Shirt open. Just must go fast. Oiled up. You know? You know, the classic Gold Bloom way. <laughs> I'm excited about the lava. Me too. So, if you could just keep them um, over there, nearby. We need them nearby. That's literally a step I just had just gotten to. All right, Paisans, we'll see you later. Enjoy the show, Paisano. Please let us know how it is. At the um, next, it's your earliest opportunity. Yeah, and we'll go up and look at the description. I We did see it in there, but I don't know if we had a, Mike had a chance to read it. What? Huh? What? The description of the musical. I did it. So these go... I'm sorry, I'm Ooh. trying to read rules about dinosaurs. Is it, I assume your musical is about dinosaurs now. And then we're going to go... Okay. You okay. Got, okay, fam. Bullies. Okay, fam. That's where they're gonna go. But I don't think I don't think the volcano's going off. Though. I know, but I'm excited about this part. Dude, look at these bullets. Bullet. Bullet. What? Yeah, man. Dude, the production value of this is awesome. Yeah, dude. Like it's like the '80s. They were they were using the best of the technologies. They had, yeah. To like, and why not? How good, man? How good? These are dope. I'm not gonna lie. These are cool. Super cool. Um, we definitely anything. need better lava. It looks like it should come with some fries. It does look like ketchup. You're not wrong. But it, like, it does look cool. But, man, think of, think of what Restoration did with Fireball Island, and think of what they could do with something like this. I mean, this is bananas. Uh, well, now Alice Holmes says, suggestion for Restoration Games, down should be usable in Fireball Island. If you make a combo <laughs> where all of a sudden that, it goes into an expansion where there's so dinosaurs a weird around, crossover. you can get a down. dinosaur... That rips around the island. Be awesome. Or you just play as dinosaurs and just don't even make sense. It's great. I love it. That. Shout out to Restoration. This is a freaking baller way to crowdsource <laughs> input and ideas and, well, to build excitement for their future offerings. Um, I, I agree. That is super, super cool. Uh, Hugo Garcia said, hey, guys, what did I miss much? Nope. We are just setting up the game. We, Mike's reading the rules. We are we are unboxing uh, currently. So this is, say the name of again. Show, me, show the peeps, man. Lost Valley of, of the Dinosaurs. dinosaurs. So um, what we've gathered is that it's 3D, and we're trying to get gold from the temple and such. I think so, and I think dinosaurs aren't going to be cool. This is a great that. box, too. Man, this is pretty. Yeah. Awesome. All right, instant suggestion. Justin, the, the rules read is this. On his turn, the player takes the top adventure card. On their turn, guys. It's so easy. It's so easy. On their turn. Yeah. You know? I agree. We can all, we all love dinosaurs. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> Other than that, this game is perfect. Root for the dinos. That's fair. Steve, with you. That's fair. <laughs> These guys don't stand up very well. I would change that. But that's, that's all I got so far. Card. Oh, but it's cool. It's got, I mean, it's got what? the hexes and stuff, so it looks like you really move around yeah. a lot. I'm curious, again, again, he said it was very simple. So, again, everyone, we're going to need help of, like, legit, like, suggestions on, like, what can make the game better. What's the heart of the game? What are the things that, like, if they wanted to do, you know, redo this is not a guarantee that they are picking this one. It's something they're thinking about. But, you know, it's like, what would be the thing to change? What would be the things to keep? What is the spirit of the game that you would want to make sure is still the there? What's the heart? What's the absolute core of it that you want to keep? You know, Yeah, because like if you play old school Fireball Island, it's pretty darn different, you know? But, like, the, the heart, the fun of it is all still there. You know, flick marbles at each other. Like, that's, yeah. that's the thing um, that you want to do. So I think these are the adventures. Is this a one versus all game where someone can play the dinos? I don't believe so, but that would be awesome. That would be rad. As we see how it plays out, if you could do it where you could like take control and make it a one versus all, that'd be probably that'd be, pretty cool. That would be acceptable. Everyone's just like ripping around trying to like grab treasure, a big team effort. But if you're the dinosaurs, you're just like you can do some crazy business. 
I may choose a different color. Orange on beige. Orange is on tough. beige is tough. Yeah, alternate play mode, Jess. That'd be kind of rad. Alright, it reads aloud and That's possible okay. holding the card is put down the I'll be brown. So this also don't choose this color when this is the color of the board. No, no, no. Mm. <laughs> right not. Um The game would definitely be better if it came with Brothers Murph Caveman figures. Uh you're not wrong, Slivers. <laughs> Here's the thing. We like don't really do much, we just like walk around. But you're right, you're right. <laughs> you just rob us. Um <clears throat> Okay. Cool. Oh yeah, there's definitely s s things that are similar, the same in old Fireball Island and new Fireball Island for sure. Like the last thing is you gotta keep you gotta keep the good the old, and then get rid of the rest. Well, could, be the <laughs> could this be the Dinosaur ki Island killer for you guys? Probably not. No, I, I think I? it would be a great compliment to. Are it we printing stuff from Dinosaur Island on a three D printer right now? We are literally like, <laughs> we are we are yes we are yes we are <laughs> we are three literally three D printing stuff for Dinosaur Island, but. Think of it. Dinosaur Island ends. But people haven't been eaten and stuff. That's true. Let's just go to the sequel, this, where everything's crazy and you're running go around. back to the island, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're giving the island back to the dinos, man. Okay, so these... I'd use some cave for some freaking wingspan. Damn right. Dead. Dang right. Um, trying to hide from the dinos. Yeah, this is... Uh, I'm, you keep reading. I'm going to yeah. check on something real quick. But yeah, I just... Oh, so you're gonna leave while I just keep it. That's great. Okay, that's no, that's great TV. Now go check. I'll talk to the no, 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 no. You go do your sure thing. I'm just saying, don't, don't just say like, hey, you sit here and read while I leave, because then this is what they watch. Excuse me, I'm trying to read. So it looks like what we're gonna do is on our turn, we're gonna roll a die uh, to choose one of our folks to move around or you can move one space through rivers and swamps and stuff like that because I imagine it's probably slow going through a swamp although if I rolled six I ain't going through no swamp I'm going to run around and there's little arrows here that move the swamp so I wonder if you get it it's like lazy river style you just kind of like cruise around like wee wee you know <laughs> this does look like an airplane and these do look like frogs that is hilarious <laughs> this looks exactly like an airplane Oh, that's pointing that way. That is bananas. Look at that, dude. Is wow, that not really like does. an airplane facing this way? It does. That's a pterodon. Pterodon. These are T Rexes, and you show some respect. Programmed movement is what Ben Lunch said. All right, you go read. I'll talk now. Okay. You gotta get playing. Yeah, man. Um, there's no rush, but yeah. Yeah, man. Programmed movement would be cool. I, I, again, I'm, I am interested in the hexagonal. Stuff because that just it usually means then you have choices of like where you go and stuff. I'm curious of why we have each have four people. I guess we are each on like an expedition, so mm -hmm. that makes sense. I guess. Um, but yeah, we will have to see. Need ideas for bed lunches? Yeah, I agree. Instead of roll and move, would be cool. It would depend on what we're trying to do, but program movement could be interesting. I like program movement. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, we got an ammo box right here. Hopefully that's where we can get the bullets. I do believe you get bullets there. Cool. Roll move would have to go. That elm is board game kryptonite. Yeah. Well, that's why you got they got rid of it in uh, Fireball Island in a good way. It's like, just give them cards. Like, give people cards. Because then they have at least, like, in, in especially in uh, Fireball Island, because it's like, you only have two choices. So it's, but you still have a choice. Like, okay, I'm going to do this instead, you know? Like, yeah. You have four because some of them are going to get eaten. Are they, Justin? Are they? It. I'm into that. Probably. It's so weird. Like I guess the the white of the page like bounces because like, like so much of our green screen goes away when you like put it up. Oh really? Yeah. Absorbs the light. <laughs> Absorbs the light. Which is a lot of light. It does. Ow! <laughs> Just stand. Hey! Get up. Yo. What are you doing here? Are those giant bullet markers? They are. Look at them. They're just, just giant bullets. It's a. Do you, if you're not going to shoot a dinosaur with a BB gun, just saying, I'm going to shoot with a rocket launcher. Take that thing out. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Oh, that's JG Main. Uh, What's uh, up, JG? No wonder he came in so hyped. I know. I was like, this is so What's up, JG Main? What's up, JG? Um, <laughs> I love that. We're just learning about uh, the Valley of the Dinos, man. Valley of the Dinosaurs. The, valley, the, lost, the Valley of the Lost Dinosaurs. The valleys, the, that Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs. It's right here in front of me. I should just read that. Yeah. 
Okay, man, we're learning about movement, so we are going to start here in the entry exits. Okay. We're going to be beginning somewhere there in the valley. Okay. Explorers can be on the same spot, Nick. You could have a power die like in Mario Kart. Okay, what? Ooh. Um, I'm just reading about things we can do. Okay. Uh, feeling good now. You're feeling good? Great. That's awesome. Same. Feeling good. Same. Had a good day. Really Productive day and stuff. Day. Productive day. I did a, a board game highlight on... Fireball Island. Today. Oh yeah, that'll be coming, coming out, on out on Monday. So find out why I love Fireball Island so much. On Monday. It's just so lovely. It's fantastic, man. Um, yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited. I haven't played Fireball in a couple weeks. Got to play it again. Mm -hmm. Um, so some sort of mitigation would be nice if they keep the roll and move. Maybe like some sort of action die or something you can roll it and pick action or movement. That's cool. Yeah, even if dice rolls, like I even don't mind like dice rolls for movement. You just have to have some way of mitigating it. It's when you don't have it, it's like... Yeah. Because I know, like, big... Upgradable dice. You can pop the faces off, put new faces Ooh. on. Ooh. Some kind of dice tech tree. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's probably easier to do. Yeah, it, it, again, it's just... It, it Just in general, like, mitigation is so key to, like, so many games. Like, where it's anything, just, like, if you're any kind of luck-driven anything, you got to have some way of mitigating it. Not completely. Like, you can just get rid of every single bad luck thing that oh, happens. Yeah. But you have to have some choice because it's just so often you just have no way and you're like, cool, this was fun. Like, I have nothing to do now. Mm -hmm. um, so I love that game. Also love that Gloomhaven vid. Which Gloomhaven vid, uh, JG? Gloomhaven vid? The, oh, oh. Live, live streamed it the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah I know that. But I, I mean, it sounded like it was a video that came out on our channel. But... I mean, we can use a spinner instead of dice. Spinners are more fun than dice. I'll give that. Just <laughs> with stickers, you can spinners put stickers on legacy are it. not used enough. The Medicaid minute. Oh, I got you. I got you, Jay. Oh yeah, Jay, you might not. You right. You right. What bro. are some other games that people would like Restoration Games to restore? And yeah, I, I think uh, one of our followers, Alex, is the one who brought up the fact that. Uh, Gloomhaven could be a gateway game, and I actually agree. I actually agree. Depends. I mean, it kind of just, you know. <laughs> Spinners just need a rebrand. Dexterity Rondell. See, this is why you got the big it's bucks, man. Beautiful. This is why this is why you're the owner of a company. It's beautiful. This is why you own us. Because you're smart. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of like there's a way you can make a spinner work in a game where it wouldn't be terrible. Just don't know. A random prize generator. You know, something like that. Dice can be cruel. I play Catan with friends. I might as well not play the way the dice roll. Yeah, that's yeah, you're right. any kind of mitigation. Like, and I mean, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's Yeah, especially in situations like that where it's like you're getting resources, you're getting all that stuff 100% based on, like, what are, things are rolled. Like, Catan, like, yeah, if you get a bad spot, it's like you can just be hosed. Even if you're a good spot, you could be hosed. Like, it just depends. Like... Yeah. And you got it, JG. Of course we gave him a shout-out. If, if we ever steal a metagame minute from like one of our followers, we'll always give you a shout-out. Three downvotes. Yes. Got to get the shout-out. People out. hate us. Love it. Who's downvoting this, man? I don't know. Someone who's sad. Bunch of haters um, are sad. <laughs> maybe action selection uh, movement is one of many choices or get a couple movement points every turn. We'll have to see. Well, I mean, we'll have to see once we start playing. That we'll get all get a much better idea once we start playing because we're all just. I, I mean, I have no idea what it's about. I just like the swamp monster, and I want to be friends with them. Well, these cards are gonna activate that swamp monster. Oh, oh swampy yeah. monster! I would love the game of life with a dexterity rondelle. Um, Pokemon Master Training, baby. Those those have spinners in it that work. Interesting. So to make you feel tactile, I would be giving a reason to chuck several die instead of like a 1d6. You would chuck like two six-sided uh, one through three faces plus a power-up or an action die. All right. Uh, Resurrection Games said uh, broadside is and boarding parties uh, had the best components to worst rules ratio. <laughs> what a good list. Love it. I'm loving it. This um, fun. Sorry for my silence, whoop. guys. I'm just trying to, to get no, in my brain and then the I will do an I'll, overview. I will Nick, mediocrely entertain down. people until... No, hold down. Well, just don't force the comedy. Don't force the comedy. Don't force it, Nick. Don't force it. Let gosh. it happen. I keep trying. Don't, don't do it at all. I keep trying. Don't force it now. Seriously, check out those ships in uh, broadsides and boarding parks. I'll check them out. 
More spoons ratio. Okay, um, I'm reading about the lava now and how it spreads out. Mediocrity achieved. <laughs> yes. Broadsides and boarding party. Broad, no, broadsides. Sides and boarding parties. Um, We, whoa. Very cool. Dang. Those are cool. I don't know if anyone can see them, but they are like these cool, like, 3D ships. What in the what? That's cool. That's intense. That's wild. Pterodon Swoops is a card. Pterodon see if I can Swoops. Pick them up by their face. Put a dude there. Apparently they save people. Chomp. And I can talk, said, in the most recent, this game is broken. Which game of Dave's were you most surprised in his rating? I don't remember his what games it was. We honestly record those so far in, in like in advance. I don't remember what. Well, this is the one that we just shot recently with Dave. Yeah. No, no not that. Yeah. yeah. No, no, this no, this is one of the Kiki's episodes. She's Dave's like list. Oh gosh, I don't. Know. Um, I don't. I don't remember what games he had on there. Honestly, it's the episodes of of kind of blended. We're like we're like a month in advance at this point in terms of filming them, so I don't remember. And I haven't listened to the episode again uh, yet, and so sorry. Um, a broadsides would be right in your wheelhouse. Cool. Calm down. Cool. Is it like ship battle, like ship versus ship battle? Be I hope so. Sweet. Yeah. If it's not, then that, that's, broadside they are spending them. money on <laughs> components they don't need to. <laughs> There's like that's just that's off to the side. That's just some cool look at while you play. I'm like I'm I'm not not into it. Hey, no, hey. Well, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think of a game like we didn't play very many board games growing up, so it's like I'm trying to think of a game that's like older that I would really love restoration games to restore. I was always, I mean, Fireball Island would have been probably the top because that was a game we at least knew about, but even though we never, we never uh, played it. Um. Uh, JG says, "How the last How to Train Your Dragon? Quite sad, but I liked it. Cool. I have, I honestly, I haven't seen any of them, which is terrible. Have you guys seen Chocolate Factory? If you have, what do you think? I, I don't know what this game is, and yet I've seen it mentioned like four or five times the last few days. I have no idea what Chocolate Factory is. What is Chocolate Factory? And so... Oh, just what we yeah. what I think is nothing. Is that the thing where you're like trying is. to put like the chocolates into like packages and stuff, and you're trying to like Oh, match. the Kickstarter game? Is that that? Yeah, game? it's like new, right? Because I want to play on that. I thought I don't I know. Play that bad. If it's that, then I'm down. Look cool. Kind of looks like you know, it's like light and like gingerbread housey. What are you laughing about? Why did Luke Skywalker's jokes never work? Because it was forced comedy. Hi, <laughs> these guys. This guy. Um, did you guys ever play or see pieces of crossbows and catapults? I feel like I've seen it. We never played it for sure. I feel like I've seen it. Because I feel like it's gotten mentioned before and stuff, so it feels. Hmm. It says an engine build. Yes, that one started this week. I think we did see it. I like those kinds of cute games. We didn't look at it too long. I'd have to look at it again. Um, but I like that. I, I, you know, it's kind of like Gingerbread House. We're big, big fans of. So like, yeah, I'd love it. Lots of requests for uh, crossbows and catapults. All right. I'm cu I'm curious like what one have suggested which one have you personally wanted to restore the most in terms of like could be ones you haven't yet or one that you already had like you know like I obviously you're going to go with you know what the people want what you also think is going to sell all that kind of stuff but like what was yours like man I want to I want to do this Crossfire is better than crossbows and catapults. I, I don't think we've ever even played Crossfire. Crossfire! Grab <laughs> How about Paladins of the West Kingdom? Uh, we haven't looked at the Kickstarter yet. Haven't. But um, we like Raiders of the North Sea. We really like uh, Architects of the West Kingdom. So I got to imagine we're going to be super down. Uh, you know, Justin being all coy, by the way. Check that out. I can't say because I'm working on it as we speak. Ooh. All right, we're gonna cool. have to come back around to that one later. All right, yeah, Confirm. seriously, you have to. In many, many months or years, you'll have to. Uh, you'll have <laughs> to uh, let us know. 
Okay. So I do remember crossbow and catapults and would work well at the new game table slash toppers now that we're older and don't want to play on the floor. Yeah, there's a lot of games where I'm like, I mean, I'm glad we have rails. Having rails is very, very nice. Yeah. And Slivers asked, have Restoration Games ever seen the game Pirates on the High Seas? My boys and I still play our copy. I, I don't know what that is. Yeah. Some of these games. And Crossbow and Catapults was essentially Catacombs as a war game. Interesting. Restoration said, I really wanted to redo the Dune game when the new movie was announced, yeah. but we couldn't get the rights. That one oh, hurt. No. That sucks. Oof. Yeah, that's the problem. Is like all these games, you have to get like the rights and the permission to like redo them, which yeah. is tough. It's I mean, not I as easy imagine. as just like let's do it. You're like, yeah, well, <laughs> some people. Uh, yeah, it's like, you know, I'm gonna say about that. Uh that's cool. But yeah, it's uh, it's got to be tough. I mean, it's got to be tough, and I'm sure like old designers of the games may have, if they're if around and stuff, may have you know their own. Like, no, you need to be able to do this. You have to keep this. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm sure all that is a thing. Kevin uh, said, "My just dusting off my old copy of Nightmare, the video board game. Might be interesting to see a revamp. Interesting. Interesting. I feel like... I mean, I guess they'd probably be done with apps. But, like, I, I always love that whole, like, VHS board game thing you know and it's like it would be very very cool to yeah see that kind of done again but it would probably have to be through an app which would actually be easier to do anyway um and restoration just said that's another one we just missed out on they just announced a reprint for nightmare okay see there you go mm. Mm. yeah mm. Mm. Mm, okay. Mall Madness, naturally. Yeah, Mall Madness is, is I know, very, very highly uh, asked for. And I'm down, not gonna lie. Super down. <laughs> Dune would be incredible, but several Kickstarters got shut down trying to do reprint, right? I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure Justin can add, answer that more. Ghost Castle was like Fireball Island, but in a haunted house. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And now everybody said a good point. It's like, well, an app instead of VHS allows the games to be different and not the same 45 minutes. That's very, very true. With an app, you can have, like, randomized stuff. You don't know what's going to come out. Um, yeah, definitely. So Mall Madness designed by Mike Ray, who's a consultant for us, along with Megavirus, Fortress America, and lots more. Very cool. I know a lot of people are hoping for Mall Madness. We don't have any, any insight, but, man, that would be cool. That would be cool. The very few things we know that Restoration Games is working on seem pretty darn cool. Um, I don't know. <laughs> no idea how it would work, but a better version of Kerplunk would be cool. Yeah, I agree. I just like the name Kerplunk. You'd have to keep it named Kerplunk because that's such a good name. Kerplunk. Automatopias are fun. All right. How you doing? Doing okay. All right. And take a look at this for one second, then we're going to start talking about this. Thing. All right, people, we're just about to start. Glad you're all here again. Give the fat video a thumbs up if you if you if you're here and you haven't thumbed it up yet. Yeah, if you don't, if you're not, if you don't mind, if you're not busy. Tower of Madness is a pretty much a more gamer per plunk, better arguable. I think we have Tower of Madness. I think someone sent it to us. Yeah, right. Yeah. We haven't played it yet, but because it's kind of busted up a little bit. But yeah, is it cool? Should we play it? Is it worth it? Same. The only game I remember from when I was a kid was Forbidden Bridge and Crossfire. Never played them, but the commercials are dope. Yeah, commercials back then were dope, especially Crossfire. Crossfire! It's hard to beat Crossfire's theme song. It's great. Yeah, it's like when board games had, like, commercials. Like, it's such an odd concept to me, but... You know, but they were like those mass market kind of big games. I think it was Mike... I heard on an episode of Ludology. It was an amazing episode, if that's the one I remember. This Mike on Ludology? Yeah, I was on that show. Yeah, <laughs> Mike was on Ludology. Teach them a thing or two. What's Tornado <laughs> Rex? Tornado Rex sounds metal. That sounds like a metal idea. Is it like Sharknado, but with T-Rexes? Because that's scary. Rip. Okay. 
I'll check it out, Slivers. Thank you. All right, Restoration, we'll see you in a second. All right, we're just going to be talking about this game a little bit. It's like Sharknado with T-Rex is good. Good. What are you checking out? I'm sorry. Sliver is uh, posted. Oh, cool. Oh, wow, that's huge. Yeah, it's massive. That's cool, Sliver. That's, that's huge, awesome. though. Super fun. Yeah, I can understand how kids would love that. Cool. Awesome. Cool. You good? I think so. All right, people, let's learn this game. I think so. So, bang, this is going to be a game in which we are running around and trying to get treasure from the temple back out of the valley. Okay. Uh, in a short game, the first person to get a piece of treasure all the way back out is the winner. In a long game, the first person to get three. I guess we'll play a short game or somewhere in between the two. We'll just kind of play and discuss as we go. Cool. So we're going to have four explorers. The explorers um, can be on the same spaces or spread out. There's no sort of like, you're in trouble now. So I'm just going to put one on each of them, actually. Um, on your turn, you're going to uh, choose to move and explore. Okay. Um, and you're going to choose a die to throw and move that many sure. spaces forward. Or if you're in the water, you can move, or swamp, you can move one space forward. So if you want to cross the river quickly and on land, there's river crossing here on this branch, here over these rocks, okay. or there over those rocks. Those are That's river the only cross, okay. Cool. Or you can go into the water. But if you go into the water and you have like, Five and you're right here. You're gonna go one, two, and you have to stop. And on your next turn, you use your whole movement to come back out of the water. Oof. Okay. So it's slow going. Same thing in your swamp on your turn. If you're gonna move, you just move one space. These parts right here with the blue arrows, uh -huh. blue arrow there, blue arrow there, are exits out of the swamp. And there's things like the pterodon can save you from the swamp, stuff like that. So pterodon helps people. The pterodon helps people. Pterodon helps people. Really? Yeah. It's a helper. Or it hurts other people. So with the pterodon, you can say pterodon swoops, and you can pick up. <sighs> You're a dude, and I'm be like, I'm gonna drop you in a swamp, or I can pick up my guy and get him out of the swamp, stuff like that. Okay. 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 Things like that. So on your turn, you can draw an action card, and then if you can do it, so in this one, it'd be like volcano erupts, lava flows relentlessly forward, uh, one space of the mountain, uh, mountain, but on reaching the valley, three spaces, one space on the mountain, but on reaching the valley, three spaces. So since we're on the mountain now, we're gonna add a lava. Towards the, towards the mountain. And then it'll be working its way down. And when it hits the valley, it'll start spreading out in areas in ways that you want. And then you're going to do your thing. So, again, if you want to move on land, you can roll the die and be like, this guy's going to go one, two, three, four. There's going to be uh, cards like danger ahead. Three dinosaurs move two spaces and three move one space each. All captured explorers are taken to any dinosaur lair. So you can try to capture other people's uh, explorers into... The uh, layers, there's more like lava cards, swamp monsters disturbed. He moves one more space around the swamp. Um, any explorer trapped in the swamp in that space is eaten. I got to double check, but I think that the the river, the swamp monster just moves around each turn in one space and just kind of floats around. Okay. Pretty sure. Um, restless dinosaurs, three dinosaurs move two spaces uh, each, things like that. There's one where... Um, you know, you might lose your way and fall into the swamp. Um, dinosaurs fight and their attention is diverted. One explorer can escape from any dinosaur's lair by moving one space outside. So you can come from here and like, boop, and pop out of there and get back out. Otherwise, you're just sitting in there. Okay. Um, but if you're like doing something, trying to find one of the cards, uh, it's just brutal, man. Like, they didn't, they didn't coddle kids in the 80s. That's all like, I'm saying. So we have these cards? These or are the cards that you draw each turn. Okay, you, you just draw them. them okay. Mm-hmm. So you get basically taken to the dinosaur lair um, and stuff like that. And then once in a while, um, like the swamp monster might catch people and eat your person, in which case they go away. So it's possible that we could like lose all of our people. Interesting. There's some cave cards. Um, there's a cave down here and a cave up there hmm. that you can go into if you get that card. Um, now, would you have to be like standing on the cave? And then get that no, card? No, this one I think you can hang on to until you get to the card, then play it. There's a couple cards Okay. they can do that. So there's, like, dinosaur attack cards. So, like, these people might be getting, you know, taken around to 
layers and stuff like that and awaiting their fate. But in dinosaur attack, one dinosaur moves three spaces and three other dinosaurs move one space each. Each captured explorer is taken to any dinosaur's lair. All captured explorers. So anyone that's in a lair at, at the time of this card gets eaten alive. Whoa. Just mega murdered. Rough. Yeah, so it's, I think it's going to come down to that. It's just trying to, like, you know, deal with these action cards and move your people around and hopefully get up there and grab some treasure and make it out. And I think it's going to be kind of crazy. So there's a card that like be about water. Your expedition is short of water. One of your explorers must reach the river on his on this turn or one member of your party dies. Jeez. So I think it's, a, a, you know, the game on the instruction says it's an unpredictable game. Like, you're, you're I think we're going <laughs> to... Some of the keys, like roll with the punches. Like, what do the cards give you? How can you? Seriously, though. How can you uh, deal? Okay. You know. And then lunch has already said an app integration for the AI would be cool. Yep, that's very cool. And Restoration always has apps for most of their games, anyway. So like, yeah, that'd be cool to play like a full cool. co-op version and have like um, AI dinos. Yeah, movement. that'd be very cool. You know, to have different modes. Or modes of transpo. Transportation. Um, so let's see. So as lava comes down and spreads out on the floor, like dinosaurs and us can never step on or pass through lava spaces. Um, if all of the lava gets used and you draw something that allows you to put like three lava out, you'll just reallocate lava from the mountain and stuff. You can move and shuffle pieces around okay. so the lava can kind of move as a pool. Um. Yeah, and now bar, yeah. So as we're playing this, like, just let's all talk about it and be open about, like, hey, I like this. Hey, this is stupid. Let's yeah. get rid of this because, like, there's gonna be some some tricky stuff. By the way, when you get a, a treasure, every explorer can only carry one treasure. Once you have treasure, you start rolling two dice to move. Okay. You start running because you're trying to get out of the valley. And then who wins gets one treasure all the way back. Yeah, if you get a treasure, short game. The winner's the first player to get one treasure coin out of the valley. If you are carrying treasure and get captured, you drop the treasure exactly where you are. Mm. And then anyone and everyone can pick it up. What are the bullets for? The bullets, um, you can scare off dinosaurs. Um, I, I'm going to assume that if you go to the ammo space, I've been like looking for something about this ammo space, but I'm not seeing nothing. But uh, I guess a couple of the cards are, it, you have found a gun. And if you find a gun... You can, uh, you found a gun. Keep this card until one of your explorers reaches an abandoned ammunition camp. Find three bullets. Return this card. Use bullets on any of your turns. So if you get a gun, you can go over to the ammo space over here, get three bullets that are used to scare dinosaurs. Okay. So you can use them how you wish. You can use one bullet to move a dinosaur one space. You can use two bullets to move them two spaces or three if you had three bullets. You can use three bullets to move one dinosaur two spaces, another one one space. However you want to do it, it's just okay. going to move dinosaurs out of your way. All right. Yeah? Indeed. And then uh, Atlas said, uh, I can see a card system similar to Raptor working here. All players reveal their cards at the same time. Weaker cards are faster and get to move first. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. That. All right. Go Definitely into that. Okay. So on my turn, I'll move my dude back here. Uh, I Did I not shovel this? <laughs> it's a gun. Maybe I, gun. Should, maybe I shuffled, maybe I did. I'm going to shuffle it, just in case. If I find a gun, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go shoot a dinosaur. What's everyone doing this weekend? What are you doing this weekend? Expedition disturbs the undergrowth. All the dinosaurs move one space each. Each captured explorer will go to a lair, which is going to happen. So you're going to go boop. I guess so now, does the dinosaur take them back to a lair, or you just go to a lair? I think you just go to a lair. Okay. Splurp. Sploop. Okay, I'm gonna roll this die. I got six, Ooh. so my guy's just gonna come traipsing out here. I'm gonna try to go for now, this. You can only process. move one person, right? One person. Okay. Five. So and careers was six. good, but pursuit of happiness may already replace it. I haven't gotten to try pursuit. Yeah, pursuit of happiness will probably replace it. All right. Me. What you got? Restless dinosaurs. Three dinosaurs move two spaces each. Each captured member of an expedition is taken to the dinosaur's lair. Uh oh. Bart. Bart. I'm going to go ahead and imagine that Bark. dinosaurs can move Bark. wherever, sort of. Except for maybe through the swamp. Probably out to the swamp, yeah. But I figure they at least go across this. Across I'd say the they road. could just tromp right over the river, no problem. So you're going to learn some games. I like the change that you roll two dice after getting treasure. Most games are the opposite due to weight of the treasure. I actually agree, Steve. Yeah, I'm like. Totally. You don't. They. I agree, because it's like, don't slow the game down when it gets exciting. Speed it up. Get excited. So, I, yeah, when I read that, I was just like, It also makes you. sense that you're, like, running at that yeah, point. Like, I'm not trying to stick around. 
Determine the dinosaur's focus. Oh, man, I was like, what? So this one turns this guy. This guy is this Who was it close? Who was the highest initiative? Yeah. <laughs> Justin, uh, do you know, can dinosaurs cross rivers and stuff? I imagine that they are more mobile than we are. I so. Pterodon swoops. One explorer is carried anywhere on the board, but not into or out of the temple or out of the valley. Any treasure carried by the explorer must be abandoned. Okay, so you can't just carry treasure all the way. That's, that's a good rule. That's a good okay, point. So I, I kind of want to carry someone all the way over here, but there's like dinos galore. I'm going to risk is like... it because you got to risk it to get the biscuit. <laughs> now, they did make a note. This pterodon has like little razor teeth. In real life, the pterodon did not have teeth. But they added this for ease of grabbage of the minis. Look how easy, look how easy this is. Look how easy this is. <laughs> look how, look how, yes. Yes. Da, 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 so I guess I'll have to go next to the swamp, maybe. Or next to the temple. <laughs> Indeed. Boom. So people got, um, yeah, so people got hanging out with the three-week-old son, the wife weekend is awesome. Right. Um, so since player elimination is possible, what if you get to control the dinosaurs when it slash if your characters die? That's kind of a good... That uh, is a good way to avoid the whole, um, like, well, now I'm a limit. I'm going to go home. It's like, it's not. Yeah. Just, you get to control the dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, do you, do you, do you, is that your whole movement? I think so. Oh, no. I guess I get to do my turn now. Indeed. I'll say I do. Yeah. There's a lot of text in the cards. Yeah, the cards are a little text heavy. language dependent. So I guess I'm going to go like one. I'm gonna, I don't know if it's going to go on the arrow. Two. Wait, huh? see, it doesn't matter. This is an arrow right here. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Honey badgers don't care. This guy's got a coin now. Coin. Oh, the coin fell through the temple. But he's got a coin. He's got a coin. Make sure he's going to jump right, down. Me. Do a flip. Is there a rule if you drop the mini with the pterodon? I'm going to keep saying pterodon. Oh, it has to stay there. I do like that. <laughs> the mini's all dexterity element now. Um, okay. I have the swamp monster is disturbed. He moves one more space around the swamp. Any explorer trapped in the swamp, and that space is Yatan. So that was my other question. Should the I think the swamp should just be moving around every turn, and then that would mean they can move twice. He moves an extra. Okay, I think so. Okay. It's more fun rising the lazy river. Did I move last time? I didn't. I did not move last time. <laughs> so do two turns real quick, back cool. to back. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five for this one, and then this guy's gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Your turn. Uh, this game, Garth, is called. Ooh. Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs. This is a game that Restoration is thinking about um, redoing. I found a gun. I found a gun. If I get to this ammo spot, then I can get bullets. Damn. Bagal. Bagal. <laughs> Did not make it. Didn't make it. Swamp Monster is disturbed. Say anything. Five. Ooh, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> Expedition disturbs the undergrowth. All the dinosaurs move one space. Each each captured explorer is taken to any dinosaur's lair. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Restoration <laughs> needs to bring back Forbidden Bridge. What is that? I remember, I think someone else mentioned that earlier. Crap. <laughs> what in the butt? Encounter grazing dinosaurs. Three dinosaurs move one space each. Each captured explorer is taken to any dinosaur's lair and awaits its fate. Whoa. I'm going to go. Dish. Get them out Dish. of here. Yeah, they're drunk. Dish. Uh-oh. Dish. Uh-oh. Dish. Dish. Um... Yeah, Justin, roll move is my fave because y'all know my luck with dice. It's going to take me yeah. eight turns to get a bullet and I'm going to get my it's head chopped off move. Great. right after that. Woo. I would instantaneously get Ooh. rid of that roll and move. Volcano erupts. Lava flows relentlessly forward. One space on the mountain, but on reaching the valley, three spaces. This is very trickily worded on top of being very word heavy. Yes. Oh, yes. Roll, folks. They're moving in herds. They're moving in herds. Now I get the six. So can I just keep right on running? I think so. I have to reach the ammo thing by exact count. I don't think of them either. You might have to stop. I don't know. Maybe she's an abandoned ammunition dump. Probably. Uh, also on your movement stuff, you can't like cross back over your same 
Spunk. Yeah, just, yeah, backtrack, yeah. Yeah, but so, so I got six. I'm going to move this dude out. One, two, three. Mm, I think it's going to be very hard to get back. So Five, six. That's why I, I, got, I, I get people moving. You got to get lots of stuff going. Steve Wilson a good point. I, I was kind of thinking the same thing Steve said. I like the lava spreading. It can be used as a game timer, like survive, and it eventually explodes. Yeah. I like that idea. It would have to come out a little more frequently. Well, we have to see, but it seems like it would have to come out more frequently. Dinosaurs attack! One dinosaur moves three spaces, and three other dinosaurs move one space. Ooh. Oh, shit. That's not good. They go, no. Dish. Leave him alone. Dash. <laughs> Does this guy go back there, too? I don't think so. All right. Um, And then he's going to go, quack, quack, quack. <laughs> So Jimmy has a good point. So what about a rule where to avoid being eaten by a T-Rex, you can choose not to move for a turn? Because they can't see you if you don't move. <laughs> Something where it's just like it's not you true. have to get rid of... They can smell you. They have giant noses. It's ridiculous. That's true. They're mostly schnoz. If you think about it. Uh, Alk Fox, this is the valley, the lost valley it's of the dinosaurs. It's that Alk Fox. Alk Fox, where have you been? Where have you been? We were talking about you the other day. We haven't seen Young you in so man. long. It's good to see you. And this is called... Right. I need both thighs, dude. I need both eyes. Oh, you're my, right? My, my treasure hunt. This is Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs. My treasure, guys. Gotta go run in. I got eight. Um, Restoration Games is thinking about <laughs> um, restoring this. Ooh, you seem to be moving. I gotta make sure I eat your ass. Six. See, you're, you're surrounded. This is tough. Six. This is tough. I like the... This, these with, like, AI, oh, if they, they had, think. like, scheduled movement that they do, like, in the app, like, all of them move in certain areas, but, Restless like... Restless dinosaurs. It could be... It could be cool. Three dinosaurs move two spaces each. Boop, boop. Yes, this game is from 85, Ock Fox. Boop, boop. So life's been stupid boop, busy, boop. even though I'm a homemaker. That's all good. Hey, I'm just glad you're here. I was, we were just worried. We hadn't seen you or heard from you in so long. So we were just like, oh, God, I hope, I hope it's ahead. okay. Um, card. Mikey. Expedition disturbs the undergrowth. All dinosaurs move one space each. I hope there are other cards because it seems like this is all. Uh, there, There is more of certain cards than others. So. Okay. I think dinosaur attack one is space. like so. So that's one thing I'd say right now. I'm thinking this is like. More, more, more crazy dinosaur movement. Like, just they're all over the place. Yeah. Um. Four. One, two, three, four. That's too close. Stay too close. My treasure. Too close. I'm doing. I'm doing the great boogie and bump, man. I'm running. That's how we do. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I need one more to get out of here. And then you're going to win? Technically, we'll do three. We'll do three. Yes. Or most treasure when everyone gets eaten. Whatever happens first. Mm -hmm. I didn't do my thing again, did I? I keep messing this you up. You did I'm not sorry. do that. Read on swoops! Ooh. One explorer is carried anywhere on the board, but not into or out of the temple or into or out of the valley. Yeah! So I'm texting you being watching from you. Of course, Outbox. Of course. We remember, fam. <laughs> oh, <rude. laughs> Come on. In the swamp. <laughs> um, random time on the app flashes mo move swamp monster. Yeah, I, I. My thing is like, why would you ever go in the swamp? I don't think you would. Oh, I guess you choice. just I don't have a. Ch yeah, okay. Because <laughs> you always just move one. Yeah, that, the swamp. I think the seems swamp weird. is bad news. Yeah, I think we would have to rework the swamp a bit. And then I'll, I like Atlas the idea of it though. It says something good. It said the game needs raptors that move real fast. Different types of dinosaurs would be cool. Yeah, just even a couple. Yeah, just like one or two different kinds. Yeah, there's there's cars that make you go into the swamp. It's mostly like, hey, you lo there's like you lost your way and you fall in the swamp. Yeah. It's so like that's mostly um, how this goes. I'm thinking real time. That would be really. Cool. That's what I'm saying. That because I mean, already cool. you've got like a treasure. Here. Like, what if you only have like ten or fifteen minutes? Yeah. Volcano erupts. Lava flows restlessly forward. One space on the mountain. This is so cool. I want more lava. Da, 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 da. We might start getting like a bunch of. I think there's quite a few of uh, lava cards and stuff. One, two, three, four. Cool. I want to get my gun. I think real time. There are cards to make you go in the swamp. Okay, cool. Let's see. Encounter grazing dinosaurs. Three dinosaurs move one space each. Oh, man. What's up, Dave? Oof. 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 All right. This Boop. game, by the way, if you are just joining us, this game is 
the Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs that Restoration is thinking about oh, restoring. That's one treasure for Mike the Murphy. He's going to come back in the valley again. <laughs> he ain't scared. He's going to get a gun. He's going to shoot that dinosaur. He's just going to scare it. But it's Pterodon just... swoops when his spore is carried out of the board, but not into or out of the temple or out of the valley. So I'm going to take Pterodon as... And then we go into to the swamp and say Morris. Morass. And I love it. <laughs> now Byron says, I have a friend who won't play real-time games. That's interesting. Do people like or not like real-time games? Because maybe you could do, that would be like a co-op variant or something if you wanted. Um, I think it could be fun. Something just the idea of like, if it's not a real-time game, something to push you toward like, gotta move, gotta do stuff. You well, know, and like, I, I like the idea of the, the lava being a time... Excuse me, timer. a timer or something like that. That seems very Ooh. cool. Um, Ooh. What was that, Wizard Man? I got me a chart to As a, a couple of now said hey. there should be swamp treasures, which I think is kind of cool, because then it's like it's not the uh, worst thing in the world uh, to go to a swamp. What happened? What'd you get? Uh, I have discovered a chart... Uh, of secret passage to the temple. Keep this card until one of your explorers reaches the cave. I can use it directly to go to the temple or lead Rude. the temple through a secret passage Rude. on the way out. Rip. And a gun. I'm going to go in the cave and be shooting in that cave. Going, ka, ka. All right, carry that. Ka. Kika. Kika, kika. Six. Rip. This is your game, man. What's yeah. up, Alex? One, two, three, four. I think it's having some kind of timer in this, whether it's like a real time game or like the lava or something, is timing the game. Like the lava, like maybe always moves forward, like no matter what. And yeah. then there's cards that will speed that up or something like that, so that you're just like always. Uh, Tim says this seems very luck of the draw. Tim, oh, sure. it very much is luck of the draw. So that's what we need from you is to say like, hey, instead of that, let's get rid of that. What can we add oh. in to mitigate and change that? Indeed. So keep throwing out stuff. People are giving great suggestions. Mikey, my expedition is short on water. One of my explorers must reach the river this turn or a party, a member of my party dies. Now my guy here is already on the river. Would that count if I just didn't move him? I'd say that you've made it. Boom. Three. Oh, Lordy. Where am I going to go? Mark, mark, mark. All right. Look up. Expedition disturbs the undergrowth. All dinosaurs move one space ahead. Each captured dinosaur or explorer is taken. This guy. <laughs> take, the, take your ass to Okay, go over there. <laughs> Suck at this game. Why are you so bad at this game, dude? Or the volcano <laughs> starts to spread and makes you move through the swamps. Yes, yeah, something with the volcano spreading. Yeah. And so you have to maybe start going to th through some disadvantageous areas or places to, to try and get it to work. Yeah. Boom. Yes. He's so good at that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Surprise me to survive escape from Atlantis. Yeah. Bullets, please. Three, two. Three. Trace bullets. Dude. Bullets. That's right. Bullets. That's what you get. Also, so the cool thing with the bullets is I can use this to move a dinosaur in your area. Swamp Master. There's only, I believe, two cards that give you the guns. Now I don't I know you don't want to make it all about guns and stuff, but like maybe you have a different thing instead of guns that like can really make it so that on your turn at any point you can do even more controlling of the dinosaurs. Like that's where this is gonna come like to life is like the puzzle game of like moving dinosaurs in and out of each other's way. Oh yeah, totally. So, you know, like more stuff that can do stuff like this, I'd be into that. So, so do the volcano tokens spill onto the board? Yeah, they have to get down the mountain first, but they will eventually uh, go onto the board. Danger ahead, three dinosaurs move two spaces and three move one space each, all capture explorers. So what, three, two, and three go one? What happens if all my people are in boop, layers? Boop, then you get to wait your fate, dude. How do I wait my fate? I don't know, get eaten. <laughs> Doop doop. Dino Riders, the doop, board doop. game. Doop doop. Wap, wap, wap. And I move two. Pat, pat. Bang, bang. Ooh, ooh. Volcano erupts. <laughs> five. I'm so, I'm so dead. You just move five, fool. You're running. I guess. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run up to the devil. Alk Fox, yeah, you're right. Ockfox says, for a game from the 80s, this doesn't actually seem like a terrible design. It's not horrible, no. Uh, I agree. Yeah, like, it, 
there's something here, right? I mean, that's like what restoration the point, games does. Right? Is they, there's something like okay, like there's this, there's that. There's a lot of like okay, we got to fix this and that. But like the idea of like running around, having these dinosaurs like ripping around uh, is cool. So I think I think um, yeah, having maybe a couple of different types of dinosaurs, more things that allow you to manipulate dinosaurs that aren't just like you draw one of these things, but make that like a purposeful thing. Yeah, like in addition to like movement cards, maybe you, you kind of do like Fireball Island where you have like movement. And then an ability, like move one dinosaur three spaces, add a raptor to the board. Da 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 da. It's where it's just kind of mixed in with action cards. You know what I mean? One member of your expedition loses his way and falls into the swamp, a maximum of three spaces ahead of the hungry swamp monster. Let's. What do you think, man? Do you think this guy is a lazy river in? My thing is, it's like if you are. Because, like, this dude way over here is going to fall in. I'm going to go one, two, three so I can. Swim in the goo. I don't know. I don't know, but it seems like... Fam, you make the decision. Is the is the Swamp Monster Lazy River in? Or is he just one every turn goes... Wah. And I it. imagine then, like, you're going to get for sure get eaten <laughs> if that's the case, but I don't know. Be cool uh, if the volcano was in the middle of the board spreading lava every which way. That is interesting. I agree with that. All right. I agree with that. I agree Go with roll. that. Gosh, you rolled a six every single turn. Whip! Like one, two, three, four. To the this tips. video for Mike's six. Really? To the tips. Oh my gosh. To the tips. Um, Ripping. so one of my people falls in the swamp. Of course it does. Whip! <laughs> but so this guy would be here. So I go right there. <laughs> Tight. I'm in the swamp. Great. See where I am. Well, I need to roll two die because I only have one more explorer. <laughs> you other explorer. Let them get eight. Eleven. Oh yeah, you're yeah. running. Gonna be one, two, three. Oh, where did I even go? Hold on. It's the best route. There's a lot of dinosaurs in this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Skirting. Skirt, skirt. skirt. One member of exp Damn it. Another member fell in the swamp. Got gas swamp. Yeah, get in the swamp. Oh, yeah. uh oh. Uh, okay, can I get both dice, please? I'm going to play my Discovered the chart, so I'm going to pop out the uh, cave right here, by the way. And go seven. You can come out of the cave? Yeah, fool. Mike is all of a luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to keep running my person. This guy's going to get eaten. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I didn't do this. Hold on. Restless dinosaurs. Three dinosaurs move two spaces. Uh, <coughs> I go, mark, mark. Um, mark, 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 mark. Yeah, cool. Boop, boop. Then do the rest move one, was it? Uh, no, that's just... Okay. The swamp monster is disturbed. Oh, so you got... Oh, so on this turn, I guess, boop. Uh... He moves one more space around the swamp. Any explorer trapped in the swamp on that space is eaten. Boop, boop. These guys are both dead. Both get dead. What? Swamp monster is scary. Whoa. Uh, blam. I'm going to use my blats. No, no. I'm going to go one, two, boom. That's out. That's two. That's two treasures. Cha. Yeah, okay. Danger ahead. Three dinosaurs move two spaces and everyone else moves one. Stay away from me. Yeah, people, so what are we thinking so far? I mean, people say, like, it doesn't seem to totally suck. Um, One, two, three. Okay, so so Steve says it looks like the Swamp Monster only moves when its movement card is drawn. Nah, that's fine. People are dead who are dead, but we'll only move them for future. So we usually have... How do we get out of the layers? There's cards that allow you to. Oh. Pterodon swoops one care once explorer is carried anywhere on the board but not into or out of the temple or out of the valley. Any treasure carried by the explorer must be abandoned. So what do you think? Is that a way to escape a lair? A pterodon? A pterodon? I think it might be. I feel like nah. I think it might be. I think it's a good choice to remake. It's definitely needs some modernization, but it doesn't seem to suck terribly its own right. That's fair. So you can spread the swamp along the river, then it has to be gone through. Early game, there's a bridge to use, but after two or three figures cross it, it fails. Ooh. That's kind of interesting. 
you just my only worry is if you, if it gets harder and harder, it makes it like basically whoever's the first person to get a treasure is just gonna win because everyone else is doing slogging through a bunch of stuff. But mm. I, I do like that. Same with like the the lava spreading is like if it starts spreading so much that it makes it so difficult. It's basically like whoever got lucky enough to get stuff first. Um, it is very cool. It's different. I love the hex board and stuff like that. Yeah, it's awesome. But yeah, I, I'm I'm. I'm ki- we'll, we'll keep talking, people. Let's let's keep yeah. these keep these ideas flowing. All the dinosaurs move one space. People like that's different. Seems different. Mark stuff. It's kind of fun. Mark. 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 It's fun to be a little Mark. different. Yeah. Paul Tom says I totally had a copy of this when I was a kid. All right. So do you have fond memories of this game? What do you think? Would you want to see it brought back and modernized, changed, made better, um, made into a proper game? You know what I mean. Currently, the lava also seems an us- unnecessary and almost unused element. I think also once it hits the board, it starts spreading faster. But yeah, the the lava is not. Bone swamp. Not. I'll use my super... turn to move forward one space. So I can go into the river and exit. Mm. The dinosaurs fight, and their attention is diverted. One explorer may escape from any dinosaur's lair, moving one space outside. Ah! <laughs> uh, one explorer, not you, dude. Oh, but, oh, bang bang! But I want to explore. Come on, man. Boom! Swamp is the real element here. Yeah, you get thrown in the swamp a lot. Although I'm near that. That's where it's fight. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna escape. Said lava needs to be in every round. I'm Actually, I kind of move out of the swamp into the river. Then have it something where you don't know where the swamp monster is. That's more interesting because that makes a swamp like mm. you can go into the swamp, but you don't know where they're gonna be. Mm. Especially if it's part of the if there's an app integration of it, so like it, it has a swamp, and it'll be like on. you know, boom, or something else, like and the swamp pops up in this spot. And it like hits that in like every adjacent space or something like that, or if it pumps up. There's like three spaces basically where it will affect. Because if it's like it's one, then you have like one, two, three, you know, twenty one to twenty chance of getting yeah. hit. But that's also one of the reasons. Like then it would be more advantageous to go Just into the slow. swamp because it's a quicker way. You're like, well, it's only a one in ten chance that it's going to be on my spot. But, it hits but then you. later on, it also just ah, pops up and eats your foot. <laughs> Man, <sighs> fall in the swamp. Stupid. Why do you keep falling in the swamp, dude? <laughs> you suck at this. You suck at this, dude. I'm gonna go. Mark, mark, mark. Your expedition is short of water. One of your explorers must reach the river on this turn. I'm in the river, but I'm going to make it so this guy has to get there. Pow. Oh, I guess I'll go poop that. Uh, Sploot. 416 said, I'm new to modern board gaming, and one of the refreshing things I've noticed bullets. about pow, the pow. industry is that competition between designers seems healthy. Yes, it's very healthy and very supportive. Like, everyone wants their game to be a hit, but there's very little, like douchey competition uh it, it's very very supportive very healthy yeah. it's awesome um all right i'm going to yeah so people tim saying scrap the lava go cool swamp make the swamp interesting i agree you could you could do one or the other i mean i swear there are a bunch of volcano cards but it's like we could three use a lot more three volcano three cards three three have a sweet spaces. volcano Don't put him near me, though. All right. I got a gun. Right. I got a gun. I have a gun. bullet that I'm going to throw at its head. Bullet! I'm scare it. Uh, one. No. Nah. You didn't? You don't have, oh, you don't have treasure. You just escaped. Nope. Pterodon swoops. One explorer is carried anywhere on the board. Hmm. I think he's going to swoop him out of the river, then. No. Tap, 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 tap. That's easy. And God knew said, also have the dinos move towards any player in line of sight, then it means the swamp keeps you out of the dino's way, but risk the swamp monster. Ooh. That's interesting. In this open of a board, though, you'd have to figure out what line of sight means and make sure it doesn't bog down the game. Like, trying to figure out who it's going to go towards and stuff. That's the only thing with that, but that's an interesting... Well, if you have it where, like, you know, their nose is... Create some sort of clear arrow. And if I'm moving the dinosaurs, I'm going to move, 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 and turn them facing... You know, almost like in Koi, you could do it and make turns yeah. and stuff. Like if it's facing this hex, it can only see... Correct. ...like this. Something like, like that. binocular vision. I don't know. Something like that. All right. Restless dinosaurs. Again, the exact same card. Yeah, um, there's a lot of those, I think. <laughs> yeah. Three dinosaurs move two spaces each. Yeah, Tim says also... Volcano- what? 
word that the volcano would be uh, would uh, be um, overshadowed by Fireball Island. Yeah, that is the only thing. It's, it's already kind of a. It's already kind of there. If you make them somehow kind of fun and like one nods to the other. One. Jeez. Like, even, like, you just, like, make this, like, it's, like, Volcar or something, you know? <laughs> like, some sort of, like, just, it's, like, yeah, it's all in the same world or something. That'd be cool. Hey, not right. Okay, so now, now here's where the where the question is, man. I guess, uh, let me do this. Volcano erupts. Sploom. Shiflack. Shiflack. Too bad. I'm gonna come up here. Bloop. Bullet. Bullet. Historical player powers. Ooh. Tim says I could see a Teddy Roosevelt playable character. That guy would uh, have totally fought dinos. I'm into that. Just have some fun. Base it off of uh, real people or fantastic folks from fiction. Um. Be interesting. Modular would really enhance the table presence of replayability, says David Phillips. That would be interesting. It'd be cool if you could always kind of like reassemble some of the features and stuff and randomize it so you don't quite know like, you know, where maybe the swamp is always the middle or something or, you know, there's different elements that are going to be randomized or if it's just completely random. If, as long as it can come, like, come together easily, that'd be, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, uh Merkwood Law says, What in the holy hell is this plastic monstrosity? This is the Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs game from uh, the mid 80s that Restoration Games uh, has on its radar. So, this is a game where we're playing as these explorers and we're running around trying to collect treasure from this temple and get it back out of the valley down here. And there are these dinosaurs that we are trying to, uh, when we draw cards that allow us, uh, we're trying to move them and eat other players and stuff like that so we're taking a look at it you know it's got all these kind of like yeah these plastic bits and a pterodon that can fly around and it's just this it just gives you the ability to move a person anywhere but it's you know kind of silly and over the top uh so we're taking a look at it and we're having this big open discussion about if this game was to get picked up by restoration games like what would we what could we do to Spruce up the mechanics. What should change? Because right now it's kind of like a roll and move uh, game. It's kind of open-ended because you can move how you want to, which is a, a huge step forward. But should there be dice? Should there be dice with modifiers? Should there not be dice and cards instead? Um, how can we make it where this volcano and the swamp are more activated and the dinosaurs are more active? Should there be more than one type of dinosaur? And yes. so on. I say yes. Yes. Um, my girl? Yeah. Sorry. A 700 pound gorilla. Outside of Good. experiencing it for the first time, are you actually having fun playing it? I'm having fun playing it. It's so dependent on luck. Like, I'm really worried. Like, if this guy gets caught, you're, then you're it's my entire turn every time just drawing a card yeah. and hoping that it's he gets escape. Like, like that. I'm really worried that that's coming quickly here. So, Sam. Uh, yeah, but for right now, he's like, yeah, dude, I'm having fun. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's just, you know, it definitely needs help. Definitely needs it, work. Well, cause, and it's fun because it's fun to think of, like, well, how could we change this? What could we do better? You know, like, it's a fun. This whole process is fun. Yeah. Like, is this a game I'm going to play over and over and over again? No, it's not. But, like, that it's, but, like, I'm excited and want to, like, think of, like, I'd play it again if we could try, like, making up our own, you know, changes for things. Eight. Yeah, that's what I'm enjoying. Oh, I have a. I have a I gotta do my card. Hold on, sorry. Gotta do my card. Swamp Monsters Disturbed! Uh oh. <laughs> Come for out. you. Come for you. Now I'm moving eight. I'm gonna go one, two, Modular three, terrain four, can do wonders five, six, here, six, considering seven, hexes eight. and big wishes. Heroescape, yeah, it's something like that would be very cool. Alrighty, I got. Escape from the swamp. If one of your explorers is trapped in the swamp, he can escape on his turn by moving to any space immediately beyond the nearest exit. I will do that. Dang. <laughs> And then three. Great. You should have just moved your person out of the water with that kind of movement. Nope. Encounter grazing dinosaurs. Three dinosaurs move one space each. Joseph Side, realistically being able to randomize your own board would be interesting. I agree. I think that'd be very cool. Dice, please. Dice, please. Um, and Dave Phillips said historical would feel uh overly silly with dinosaurs. Maybe. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to use my last bullet. <laughs> Swamp Monster Disturbed is the name of my chemical romance cover band. Fair. Very fair. 
<laughs> That's pretty funny. You have two already? Out? Oh, oh yeah. I'm about to win. It's going to see your passage in the temple. Keep this card until one of your explorers reaches a cave. He needs to go directly to the temple or leave the... Oh, that's, a, that's not useful. Um, sure, this me. Need a 12. Didn't get it. Okay. You got one, literally two, three, over four, half of five, it. Six, seven. Do I get bolts? Can I pass the bolts? Do you have a gun? I do. Then yeah. Yeah. Cool. Bullet! The magic bars could be randomized through app integration. The volcano would be abandoned as only ever an issue if it completely blocks the dino layers. Hmm. Yeah, it'd uh, have to be interesting. I do like the layers. <laughs> I'm not sure how that could be used. <laughs> Double, Double duty. They're both over here just like... Fighting over the moving through the bits. swamp, slow you down, and yes, you have to. You can only move one by one by one in the swamp. These, please. Yeah, that's it. One, two, three. Rip. That's Mikey trip. wins. <laughs> All right, fam. <laughs> so Mike won. Cool. I like the 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 the. What do you think? The it's there. I get, obviously needs to be overhauled. We we all knew that going into it. The idea is cool. I really like the dinosaurs. I think there needs to be much more difference in terms of what the dinosaurs do slash move. Um, because it's, it's just a lot of these cards where it's like, oh, three move two and the rest move one. It's just like they're kind of like – there is definitely some fun in being like, oh, I'm going to like skirt this dinosaur. I hope one doesn't move. And that I think is fun and can yeah. be like uh, – I think that's cool and fun. I think it's, but I'd, I'd like more variability in terms of how they move, where they move. I like the idea of having different dinosaurs and like you could either play with a different type of dinosaur. Like in this game, we're playing with the raptors and they're mm. really fast, but like, you know, they're not maybe quite as strong as like the big T-Rex. So like, or you can mix and match them or kind of do how you want, but it might be like Random. different dinosaurs give you kind of a different game. I like the idea of a modular board. I like the idea of the the volcano being like a timer, like Escape for Atlantis, but the swamp is also interesting. I don't think you need both. I agree. I think you either have a centerpiece of a, a volcano or a swamp um, or minimize what the swamp is, and it's like you have to spend a couple turns in there. And, yeah, and because... Like there's a chance that you might get hurt, but you might get a treasure. Like some, yeah, you know... I think, like, one thing that could, if you want to have, like, the lava be a thing, it's that, like, every turn it comes down, at least until it hits the valley floor. Yeah. You know, so it's just constantly, like, it's going to be flowing out. Because there, let me see the ones, the ones that... There may be cards to help mitigate that and yeah, stuff. Yeah, the lava know. was so, and, and Tim said, he was like, I never sense danger from either the dinos or the lava. The dinos a little bit, but, like, um... So it says, yeah, so the volcano erupts, the lava flows relentlessly forward one space on the mountain, but on reaching the valley, three spaces. So once it reaches the valley, it does start spreading quicker. Yeah, we just never got there. But so. I, even then, I just can't imagine it would be an issue because you could just go this way around it, which is why I think having the volcano, if you want to go the volcano route, central, or there would have to be some kind of cards where, like, embers go and, like, start a fire so it starts spreading somewhere else. Mm. Just because if not, like, just avoid that area. Like, skirt it. And you'd be fine. And so I, I don't think yeah. dual sided board one with swamp one with lava. That'd be cool. That'd, That'd be really cool. cool. Yeah, you I get a different vibe. Yeah, yeah. That'd yeah. be cool if you get like marbles where you can or um, marbles. You could uh, like an ember Corey, thing where happen. like wherever the last lava spot, you can go one, two, three, and drop a new lava that then becomes a place where you can yeah. spread fire. It's like an event stuff. comes up, like yeah. boom, and then start spreading from there. Because then it's like then you have to start doing yeah. weird stuff. If I think you if you did that, that it, it could be where there's so much lava, like you're gonna need to have the ability to <sighs> combat the lava and like clear paths and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Maybe not a ton, but. It could become fairly choke pointy, but then it, be, it becomes like more tactical. You just kind of go further into like abstract, indeed. You know, strategy. Lunch has had an interesting stuff. idea. It says, or if an actual disc slid down the volcano and randomly out of the board, so we're like, and that's where it was. Huh. I don't know how you keep it from going to the same spot each time, but that well, is interesting. You can have different sh shoots potentially, or different. I don't know. Slightly, some are smoother. I don't know. That'd I don't be know. Kinda, 
Like, I'm trying to think of, um, like, how do they do it in um, Flick Em Up Dead of Winter? That's how they do They have, like, kind of a thing where they, they drop and yeah. it just tumbles out however it tumbles. Yeah, that right. So maybe it's not a disc, but it's something that's more, you know, um, yeah, oblong and stuff, so you don't quite know. Garth said, Ever, perhaps every card should have a dino movement on it. Some only one dino of your choice. Others being all dinos of a certain type. That could be cool. Yeah. Atlas said, when lava hits a river, it could solidify and become a land bridge. That's super sick. So that's the thing is, like, as lava goes through, maybe like this area is cut off by water. It makes it easier to move around a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but then all of a sudden, an another way opens up because the lava there... And it chokes a river and creates a new swamp. No, my, again, my only thing is, like, it, it's, there'd have to be some kind of modu modular board or modular where the lava goes or else again it would always be the same that's where i think the issue with like the lava and stuff is it's like it would have to be randomized somewhere or else you'd be playing the same game each time because you the lava then would come from this way eventually hit this water which would turn into a bridge and after one or two plays it would become samey yeah because everyone starts just doing yeah you just get i know what i go here by yeah. turn four it'll be this yeah i think about the ads like an idea of like random um yeah, variability in terms of like the way the board comes together in four pieces or something, but it's like can be twisted around and, and flipped. So it's random every time or something like that. Or yeah. um, the way that the lava moves and spreads is randomized in some way, or it can be controlled by players. Like that's something that was cool. If we ever got to the valleys, like we can choose where the lava goes on my turn and your turn, respectively. Yeah. And obviously, we're going to try to do that in a way that's convenient for us, inconvenient yeah. for you. Um, so, yeah, I'm just like, hmm, 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 hmm. Um, incognito, good night. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your thoughts. Have fun in, you know, England. Yeah. You know. Um, could have a coordinate, could make, sorry, could make lava dice or cubes and add in a cube tower where you have to add lava to it every time. That's interesting. That is interesting. And, and then, then, like on a erupt, like a volcanic eruption, it all drops and spreads. Well, or I think it's a cube tower like that, so you don't know which ones are going to come out. Like, you know, cube cards, you oh, drop yeah. them in, and the, it's kind of randomized. That could be mm. interesting. I don't know where then they would go, but, like, you have to figure, that's that's kind of interesting. Um, and then other Tim <laughs> said, yeah. could have a coordinate on each card in the corner. If it activates a lava event, that's where it goes. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, and then Atlas Film says maybe use dice for the lava pips to determine how far it travels. That's interesting. So there's, like, a one, one um, like, a D3. Yeah. You know, and you just roll it, so you know, either one, two, or three spaces, and you can choose how far. So that's maybe the embers are traveling and stuff. Yeah. Um, and Benjamin and TPG Grove both asked, what is this? Uh, and also, Benjamin, we don't really stream on YouTube. Every once in a while we do. We're mostly on Twitch, but hey, we're here. This oh, is yeah. Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs. Restoration Games is thinking about restoring it, so they sent it to us to play it so we could play it with you, and we're all just spitballing. You missed the gameplay, but you know. So Restoration Games says, sounds like you like the varied things to encounter, but they need to be more variable in their effects. Uh, I definitely think so. Like with the cards, I, I dig that there's events uh, and stuff, but they are, you know, kind of similar. And, yeah, because there is and, cool. You have dinosaurs, you have the swamp and yeah. the layers and the lava. And That's cool, but they're all very sure. similar. And for yeah. my money, like, I would like that there's always events happening that are out of your control, but then have it more be where these are cards that I'm actively playing. Boom! This dinosaur goes one, two, three. Now your path is blocked. But I'm choosing when and how to play those cards. Mm -hmm. I would like more of that and then, like, some of the chaos of the craziness. Yeah, know, yeah. You know? Yeah, no, I hear you. Totally. So, yeah. That's just for my money. Because that then, be, then can become really tactical about, like, how I'm going to play dinosaurs, how I'm going to move and stuff. Like, maybe... Yeah. You know. A couple people said put the volcano in the center. Yeah, that would at least then it, the volcano, the lava wouldn't be coming from one side. Um, adding traps to slow players and change dino paths could remove the guns and bolts. I, I, I think you might have mentioned that earlier. I agree. I think traps is a much because ultimately, restoration makes makes family weight games generally for families. So it's like uh, I don't think we could necessarily have guns. And well, bullets. I like in this game that it's like you use it to scare the. Yeah, dinosaurs. you're just shooting in the air. Yeah, that's very. But true. like, it's I agree. It's true. like make traps, make like pheromones or something like other than like we don't need more bullets in games there's plenty of those out there um and then tim made a good point if you put the volcano in the middle it's very fireball islandy and that's very very true true i'm sure like no matter what if this goes forward like some people are gonna are gonna have something to say about that and like i don't personally care about that if it's not at all plays the same way it's like yeah. okay you know but but yeah it's a, you know something that i'm sure they're aware of like they'll have to deal with something like fox said something cool so why not have time controlled events things that take say two or three turns hmm. to occur so you know they're gonna happen like you know an eruption's coming yeah 
That's interesting. So you might try to prepare either to... Or try and go quick around it or something like that, you know, so get out of the way. That's kind of interesting. And a Connor... That's kind of like something like in Through the Ages is like you're, you're playing like the, the different uh, politics cards. Yeah. You play, you play you don't, your yeah. card, but you don't know when it's going to come back up. That's true. So it's something like that where you play this in and it reveals a new thing that's been coming in. So now you're like, the volcano might erupt, but it may erupt now. It may erupt four turns that's from now. How close do I want to be? So everyone can be throwing in these these kind of action. You can even do it like kind of like Robinson Crusoe, where you do some and he goes, "Okay, cool." It goes back in the deck, shuffle it up, and then you and shuffle like, it up, and it's like might, it could come out next turn. That it might could help not me hurt come me out. Later. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. That's interesting. Yeah. Is like throwing them back in the thing. Like you can play this card, like kind of take it from Robinson. You can play this card, and it's going to help you now. Yeah. But like this may catastrophically screw you and everyone else later yeah. if it comes back up. That could be interesting. Yeah, and Howie, this is Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs. This is a game Restoration Games is thinking. Yes, it is. They are, they sent it to us. They are thinking about restoring it. Yeah. So we just played it, and now we're all discussing about stuff we'd like to see. In the game, you can move these dinosaurs around and stuff based on these event cards, but the event cards are just something you draw on ah. your turn, which is cool. And I, I definitely like the idea of some things just sort of happening and whatnot. But I'd like to have more... Yeah, not control, but just like, it's like you can put actions into this that may come up at a good time or a bad time. So maybe you get a little bit of both. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Weather effects could slow yeah. players up. Yeah, I definitely, whatever we, you know, whatever did happen, I, I you, you, you wouldn't want it to ever become a slog to get through the yeah. game. Like you want it to be fast and fun still. So I guess like that'd be some of the tricky yeah. bit is like, how do you do have fun stuff where you can control things, have bigger things happen, but also... Run around, grab treasure, get yeah. out. Like we, it should be a fun adventure. Yeah, Dude Hammer brings up the point again. We talked about earlier is you could have programming. I still think that's an interesting idea of having your your act your movements programmed because then events happening are might like push you around and mess up your programming. Yeah, mess up your programming, or it's just it's harder to avoid bad things because you already have your program. You know, it's like I think programming. Hmm. I I don't know. It's it's. I don't know. Yeah, I, I do think uh, Dude and I brought up, a couple of other people brought it up. I do think programming is still an interesting concept for this. Uh, I, I don't know, but it's uh... mm. alright, restorations that I gotta run, folks. Uh, um... Yeah, check out the end of this when you can, Justin, and we can chat um, if you had any questions about what people said and stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's keep talking about this. So This is fun, man. Yeah, this, this is, is very cool. Yeah, a, a, pro, a program movement game could be cool, especially when you have these hexes because you could do, like, I mean, Koi, to go back to, is a program game that uses hexes, yeah. and you can do it where you have turns and left and right, and you're trying to, like, navigate and make that really fun. And, and I, would it be something you think where everyone programs their movement, and then we're like, go, and everyone flips over and carries out their actions in, this, like, in a simultaneous type know. of way? Honestly, I don't know. Hmm. Well, it'd be interesting. I don't know. It would be interesting, like, know. yeah, if it's, like, there's an event that we don't see. It could be lava, it could be whatever, and then everyone picks their program, reveals their program, then we reveal the event. The event happens, and then everyone does their programming, probably in turn order. Sure. Because then you might, like, push each other aside and stuff like that, but it's, like, you don't, like, your program may have you walking straight into a dinosaur, have you walking. Now, again, the, 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 um, the punishment for that cannot be too... Yeah. harsh because it's like it's something you can't help it's got to be fun light but if you keep the punishment relative to like what's going on in the game hmm. that i think could be interesting some kind of weird simultaneous selection but again with events going on that you don't know like you didn't know that a lava event was about to pop up two spaces in front of you you know hmm. and you were going to go two spaces forward turn left and then go but like um and and Tim brought brought it up again the El Dorado having cards Have similar to Quest for El Dorado, building. yeah, but so also you like different land types and stuff that you're crossing, yeah, something like that. That is also interesting. Hmm, it's very interesting. Yeah, and thank again Restoration Games. For, this is super weird, and I love it. And he's just like, I think you'll have fun with it. You're right. This yeah. is this is what yeah. <laughs> and I enjoyed this discussion. It's cool. I hope I hope cool. they. Uh, keep this up because this is I fun. Think this, this is kind of... gonna be yeah. If y'all are digging this, please like let us know. Let them know that yeah. like hey, this is a really fun thing. Like uh, they really do value people's opinions on games and like to get you know into people's heads about things that they're interested in. So like if this is something you're interested in, 
um, they've expressed interest in making this like a semi-regular thing, like once a month, once every other month, whatever, you know, I guess yeah. it depends on what they have coming down the pipeline and stuff. But, uh, yeah, if y'all are into this, this is really fun for us. And yeah, so, yeah. Um, uh, Paul Thomas said, uh, how about spreading the treasures out? The further you have to travel, the greater the riches kind of like, I definitely plank. could dig that. That's an interesting idea. That's an interesting idea. Cause yeah. then it's like, yeah, the, the, the. The, like again, the kind of, I love pushing. That's why one of the things I love about Clank. It's like how deep you want to go. Yeah, you know how deep you want to go. You know, I it's agree like, with that because like having this way over here. Like I like that it, it then forces you to go as far as possible. Yeah. and there should definitely be something like if you're down here, there should be a treasure over here, or treasures. But do you go like quick in in and out a bunch of times and hopefully try to get enough things? Yeah, is that's it, is it you know is it not going to be worth it? And as cool as it is with the three D thing, I think the pterodon is. Super unnecessary. Pterodon is super cute and super stupid. Um, <laughs> it makes no sense. The pterodon can go away. I'm sorry. Well, it doesn't. No matter what, it doesn't need to be a physical thing. If you want to have some sort of like, you get to sure, yeah, jump over this. Like you get to go to any space. Literally for that thing to just sit on. It's like super cool. Super dumb. I love it. This is very. Uh, but I love it does look it. like a plane when you stand like that. That's it pretty, does. It still it's is so incredible. crazy. That is wild. weird. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Ooh, or make the treasure location disappear and reappear in different places. Again, the treasure couldn't be worth too much because then it could be just a straight luck fest if you happen to luck next to, like, a dope-ass treasure. Mm. But that's not a bad idea, especially in somewhere like the swamp. If there's still a swamp, it's like they kind of pop up and then go away hmm. and then pop up. And then, so then it's like... But again, they couldn't be worth too much. And I think much. if you're in the swamp, I think what you do is you definitely don't do, like, hey, you don't get to have movement. You just move one space. It's just... You roll a die, you cut your movement in half. Rounding yeah, down. yeah, yeah. Rounding, rounding, or rounding down to a minimum of one. Yeah, or play a card. Yeah, it's you know, same, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's just it like is. you can still actually boogie around a little bit and and like and stuff. And uh, yeah, Alice Film says, yeah, I think put your luck is the way to go. All the best treasures in the most dangerous spots. Yeah, dude, Hammer kind of said it's yeah, like present like, treasures with a bit of variation. Like, yeah, you can get to this treasure, but you're gonna have to slog through the swamp to get it, which means it's gonna take you a while. Yeah, and even like, though this it's really guy's close. cruising around. Yeah, and this dude's kind of cruising around like, hey, hey, hey. like that. That could be interesting. I, I do think, yeah, kind of a kind of push your luck version with like a clank, a la quest for El Dorado, or maybe deck building, something like that, where it's like, you know, it's always variation. And then I think the you know events, lava swamp, whatever, dinosaurs. It could be pretty cool. The problem is they they'd have to make sure they don't put too much into it, because then it would just get too much you know it's mm -hmm. like this is a game where you could very easily kind of overblow it um in terms of like the amount of fiddliness but again restoration doesn't tend to See, make those i like games, the idea so. that like you can have an action card where you like you get 12 movement you get something crazy but like all dinosaurs are going to move a couple spaces <laughs> in your because you're just like making hella noise you're like, ah! yeah and something where it's just, <laughs> just like okay you can do this but you're gonna like are you gonna be able to get back out if you run all the way over here and everything's kind of going boom boom you know yeah. And now, like, what are you going to, you know, how are you going to juke them and stuff? Or you can move, like, bless <laughs> you, less spaces, but you can move dinosaurs more areas to hopefully eat up other people or clear the path for you for another turn. Mm -hmm. And I, I like the idea of, like, people being able to be captured and ask, taken out. Gonna, there needs to what be, do we all think of the layers? I like it, but I there needs to be more opportunities to get out. Yes. Like, so... That where it's like maybe you have like five explorers and it's like if you get caught you're dead. Yeah, I don't know. Something yeah. with that because no, it's I just agree. kind of like there's only a couple cards that have the the dinosaur Dude, fights was, and you escape and I'm like, that what if at the yeah. beginning everyone plays stupidly and we all get stuck? Like, what do you do? Do you just all draw a turn card yes. for your turn because that's gonna be super yeah. weak? Or it's like you got to be like, okay, you forfeit your turn, but then you can get out. Yeah. You know, it's like okay. no one can move anywhere. You might have a dude over here. Yeah, who's totally. like got a bunch of people. You're like, well. I can maybe get this guy out and get over. Yeah, the, you it's know. like that's your turn. Like that's fine because again, especially if the, it's a quick game, it's like okay, I'm a for my turn. I go boom, I'm here. Yeah, and then it's like okay, next turn I can just go. You, you know, keep it's it like, fun and fast. Maybe it's like you get all of your people out and they just all poop pop out. They can't. Kinda, they're gonna be right like here. Terrence walking. It's like all your lock tags will come yeah, out, but yeah, that's your exactly. turn. You know. Yeah. Um, uh, Alice Film says you could have a raptor's nest where you have to move slower through it to avoid being attacked. Yeah, see that'd be awesome. That's like, you go to their den and that's you're like, super you move quick, you're gonna alert them. Or do you, like, do it, you run fast, and it spawns, like, more dinosaurs and stuff, you know? So now you're like, oh, now you're really in it. But it also might, if you can get out of there, 
Now there's more dinosaurs around that are going to like eat other people, maybe, or something. Interesting. I don't know. Uh, so the layers don't feel thematic, but could with Neanderthals. They don't really feel thematic, but I like the idea of them. And so maybe they could be something else. And someone else just said, what about stealing dino eggs that are valuable, but mm. you attract those dinos towards you? Maybe that's what the lairs would be, is like you could roll up into the dino's lairs and snag some eggs, mm. which are super valuable, but means like you're going to have dinos moving towards you every single turn. And you got a yeah. boogie. Interesting. I said, wait, what? I thought this was a video. I thought, no, we're live right now. Hi. Hi, <laughs> we can We can see what you're talking about. It will be uploaded after this once we stop, <laughs> and then it will not be live. Sorry, yeah, we're live right now. Yeah. Um, Throw a flare to move the dino in the opposite direction. That's cool. Just like That'd be a fun, like, if you it's, have... It's, um, it's terms, like, yeah, you, if you have, like, little... Um, I don't want to just keep using Fireball Island terminology, but, like, <laughs> souvenirs and stuff. Like, yeah. you have these, like, little things that are, can be, like, throwbacks <laughs> to, you know... Yeah. Um, and that's Jurassic one thing about Park this game is like trying to keep it not Fireball Island, you know? It's like, which yeah. it, it doesn't feel like that at all, but it's just no, like. No, it doesn't. It's got a similar theme, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think we've had some. All the ideas we've said have been perfect, and they should invent them all. And I mean, this is basically game. ready to print right now. Yeah, mine as well. But this is so. cool, though. I do like it. It's fun. Yeah. And it's a very cool shelf. Yeah, piece. Modular <laughs> expansions, people are calling. Yeah, if we, if there's some way to have a dynamic board or elements on the board that are different, that could yes. be cool. So every game is like, okay, this time again, like we talked about earlier, it's like this time we're gonna play with the Raptors. It's like, okay, then the game is like mega different because the Raptors are small and fast. You know, yeah. it's like this time we're playing with some kind of modul modularity. Is that a word? Whatever. Sure. Sure. Some that. kind of modularity would be great because. One, the board setup being modular would be cool. But it's like, okay, this time we're playing with these kind of dinosaurs. This time we're playing with the dinosaur egg. So it's like something where the game's always different. And so you could then always change it up, you know. And then again, I think some kind of event where events, you know, volcanoes, swamps stuff, moving dinosaurs, all that stuff is, is I don't know. It, yeah. it's, I think this could work. You know, and, and they're... they're Rob I mean, all them, they're just they're just wizards. So like they'll they can make it work great. But I yeah. think this is awesome, actually. Yeah, it's fun. It's definitely got like a cheeky fun vibe that could be like pretty cool. Yeah. And like, yeah, if you just got like sweet ass minis and stuff, zombie dinosaurs, <laughs> every game seems to have a zombie theme yeah, now. That's right. I mean, if you're gonna have zombies, you might as well have zombie dinos, like that's pretty badass. Like I could get into that. I don't know. The board gets eaten by the lava flows. So you have to move forward or burn up. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. I do. I still do like the idea of like the lava being some kind of timer. If you're close enough to a dino, the number of spaces you move will be the number of dino move cards you draw. Each one with a chance for a dino move. That's interesting. Mm, so you're kind of flirting with danger. I wonder. You'd have to if you're close enough to a dino. So you'd have to. Yeah. I. I you'd have to be at a certain. Um, what's the word? Distance for them. That's the word. Yeah. So, but that is interesting too. Different dino uh, models could increase or decrease difficulty depending on the player, game group, or your kid. That's a really good point. Really good point. Like, you can play with, yeah. like, less less scary like, dinosaurs yeah, that, if like you're playing with, like, T-Rex are kind of, like, big and dumb or something like that. Or, that's a good yeah. point, Tim. Very good point. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. interesting. Something like that would be really appealing to them because, again, they like to have games that can be kind of scaled up and down to really hit your, their entire family. Like, that's a big... Big thing for them. It's just like, you know, like most of their games are really playable with anyone. Mm, yeah. Like, you know, indulgence being kind of the, the outlier there, I think. Yeah. You know. Yeah, no, totally, totally. What if the layers were punishment for your program movement ending up running into a trap? That way, if your plans are screwed up, you restart closer to a treasure. That's interesting. Okay. That's definitely Like easy. lose a turn type thing, but, you know, you get a little benefit on the back end. Like, cool. Hmm. Why stop at zombies? Go full cult of the new and add some Cthulhu tentacles to the zombie dinos. They'd have to be uh, in Viking boats, though. Yeah, that's They'd true. have to be in Viking boats that's and true. on Mars. They'd also have to be like have to have like a raccoon mayor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, they have to have some kind of anthropomorphized yeah. yeah. animal at this point. It's really important. Really important. What's up, Kim Angle? Uh, okay, I'm Angle up on here. This looks like just like the mask Boulder Hill place that I had when I was a kid. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Replace the dot the volcano with Cthulhu. It's just like just tentacles, just it's swinging out the mob board. Cthulhu to pull out knowledge. Or... Each character have variable player powers. Oh, for sure, for sure. That that I think in a lot of these kinds of games is like a given. Like give even if it's small, give yeah. everyone a. It doesn't bit have of power. to be big at all. You just get two powers. You choose one or whatever. And... You know, it's because especially with you know family weight games. Okay, you're playing with kids. Get rid of the variable player, player powers. powers. Just yeah. get them rid of them, and you're good to go. You know, it's like boom. You know, yeah, uh, yeah. Coolio. All right, I think we'll we'll call that then. 
Well, call it then. Um, again, if you enjoyed this and you want to um, kind of partake in this process more often, let us know. We'll let Justin and the folks yeah, at Resurrection Games know. Or tweet Games at them, hit them up on you know social tweet media stuff. Hey, that was super fun. Uh, I love it. Give your ideas on this. If you think of something in the night, tweet at them. Say like, hey, I th- thought about this for this game. Um, yeah, because this was like, yeah, it's fun. just, super, it's just cool. fun to like think about. It's like, oh, I wonder what I would do if I was a game designer. So I guess we can all be like game designers and uh, help out in this process. So yeah. um, Atlas Film says, what about a custom die with different dino types on it? Whatever dino comes up, you move all the dinos of that type. Yeah, see, that'd be cool. So you, again, I like the idea of creating some press your luck and some randomness. You're like, I'm going to go over here. Hopefully T-Rexes don't move. And then... I, I get a die on my hand, so of course T Rexes move. Yeah, and then they just like move toward you, and you get eight. But it's just like they might not, and you're just like, "Let's go!" You know, That's interesting. yeah, <laughs> just run through. That'd be cool. Donna says, "A Lost Viking Valley of Cthulhu Raccoon Town." Beautiful. <laughs> That's I'm a getting that tattooed on me. That's, that's great. That's that's a two million dollar Kickstarter for myself. <laughs> like, that's easy two mil. Uh, lovely. Well, thank you all for being here. This was awesome. Um, again, let them know if you want them to keep doing this. This was super cool, super yeah. fun. Um, yeah, and I think that's going to be it. That's going to be it, everyone. Thank you so much. Um, good night. Have a great Friday night. Bye. Bye.